Here we are, start of another decider. And dude, I'm excited for this one. We've got Fire in the blue. And Fire is the definite favorite here. And mm -hmm. he's one of a few players. When we saw the bracket, we just said, yeah. Like, he's going to make it back in gold because it's Fire. But then Cloud on the other side, he has been really impressive. And he's had really unique strats that showed me that he's been training a lot, Dave. And along those lines, he's gone for the poles here on Shoals. So Poles on Shoals has a ring to it. And it's a strategy that I haven't seen played at least uh, publicly from players. I know some players have been testing it in I strategy. I saw it once and it absolutely did not play out. Okay. I think the Poles got so destroyed it wasn't even funny. Like he never even got an option to get into. Obviously the, the strat was like boom into having castles securing the sides and then just go knights. Yep. Right. And it, and if it works out for you, you can go Arbalist if it works out for you on the sides. But he got absolutely destroyed. I can't remember who it was. Yeah, it was um, it, was, it happened in it would have been in, maybe in gold or platinum in the previous season as well. Unless no, you're no, talking no, it was about this, silver. It was this year. This it was this silver? year. Silver. OK, got it. Yeah. I think it was uh, uh, someone against Turs. I think I can't remember who it was. OK, well. Let me talk through the strategy for people that haven't seen it. So obviously Italians, uh, people have probably watched enough games now to know they're incredibly capable with a fast castle off of the one dock that's protected by the sea tower. Uh, poles don't really have any water bonuses, but what they can make use of is they can make use of the meta, which is to just sit at home and boom. Poles have a great economy. And then while there's limited gold at your base, poles get gold from mining stone as well. So the idea is just... If it's going to be a 3TC war, you can do mm -hmm. that. You don't need to rush to the gold as quickly. And uh, then from there, it's usually all centered around Cav, but could be other things as well. We'll see. Yep. Italians, I I saw the water contest yesterday. Um, God, I can never remember the players' names. It's like Matador a and Dave? short term. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> With the, the all in galleys, I think it was Malay against Italians, and the Italians player Dave played feudal water pressure with italians i tend to like the fast castle approach a little bit better yep agreed with them because then you can always take back the water after yep. and your sea tower is kind of defending your fish anyway and it's kind of defending your opponent's fish anyway so if you really want to take out his fish or protect yours uh, to get past that sea tower and take out his you're gonna have to make a lot mm -hmm. of navy yeah some people still are kind of it, with the thinking that Feudal Age is good, like, uh, I did a lot of training with Ozone and Matador, and mm -hmm. Matador loved his Feudal Age play, and he won the game, right? So he, he played fine, he got the job done, but majority of other players are preferring Fast Castle more than anything. Dude, Cloud is Cloud is never making houses next to his CC ever again. I've watched him struggle with four deer pushes already. <laughs> like, these things are... Like, Cloud is never again making his houses next to the TC. <laughs> That's so funny. It, also, the way he's making them is is to yeah. allow the deer to pass. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, well, in case someone's like, why is he doing that? That's really stupid. A reminder that he's going to try and make his farms around his full work, mm -hmm. which will go up eventually. So, uh, But I think Fire might actually go Feudal Age pressure because where he's placed his dock indicates to me that he is okay with his fish being exposed right now. What I've seen mm -hmm. a lot is you make the second dock underneath the tower, which I remember we talked about like six months ago. Dude, if he wanted to go FC, he could have a brilliant dock position here. Like he could have two safe fish underneath that. Yeah, and you can see that as well with the tower. So that's been interesting yeah. that Fire's chosen to do that. But Fire's Fire's a water player, right? So yeah. he could go water pressure in Feudal Age, just make a few ships, get full control, and then have a clean enough build to go up to Castle Age at a really reasonable time. I actually kind of like his map setup. Like, it's a really short wall from the water mm -hmm. to that wood line in the south, and it's a really short wall all the way to the water in the north, too, and you can kind of block that marsh area off with a dock, too. Yeah. You could be fully walled all the way through on this map. All right, so Fire definitely going to go two docks here. He's up already. Maybe this is just because he knows the poles are never going to compete on water. So he says, yeah, I mean, I'll two just galleys. Yeah. Just yeah. like even add just two or to four galleys. And then he could go up to eight fishing ships. Maybe also another thing I've just noticed is they are much further. At least cloud mm -hmm. is much further from the gold in the North, but he's also much oh, closer yeah. to the gold in the South. 
I think for Could fire, it's a bit more even. I think fire might actually be further than the one from the one in the south and closer to the one in the north. It's hard for me to really judge it, but it definitely feels like there's a difference there. It's kind of a weird, it's a non-typical setup here. Mm -hmm. Usually you have the golds in, on like the upper left side of the map square, if yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> like the, the northeast mm -hmm. of the, the map rather than just straight north. Cloud going to gold, and he's still going to fast castle off this, I'm pretty sure. He just will plan on getting stone later. He's slaughtering every buffalo underneath his DC right now. But I think regardless of if this poll strategy works or not, this is the type of thing Cloud needs to try today. He fully recognizes he's slower than fire. He's less experienced than fire. He's lower ranked than fire. Like... And... Whoa, whoa, calm down, dude. Get the, like, come uh, on. Am I, okay, I'm not trying to sound this. too mean. Maybe he's that was too than much. Fire. He's <laughs> less friends than fire. He's generally less successful. Well, he's like, not. He's on, not. Dude. He's not. Uh, like fatter than fire because fire was playing this tournament game on a name called Gordo, which we've changed. So that's that's a positive. You call him Fire Fat? Oh my god! It, his name is Gordo. I mean, I looked it up, dude. <laughs> but no, like I'm not trying to be harsh on Cloud. Like Cloud is as has played really well in silver because of his planned strats. But you, there's certain matchups where you just do not want to go into the game playing it the same way as your opponent. So I, I like the strat. I like the the idea behind it. Yep, and I like the fact that he hasn't gone into stone uh, to try and get his gold. Yeah, it's too poles. early. Ever since that change, you need like six on stone, five or six on stone yep. to get enough gold. Or you just plan on selling that stone from the market but it's not the most efficient thing ever. It's just easier, especially at low populations, to go out to the gold with three bills. Yep, agreed. Also, um, I, I, I will have to ask uh, Clouds or, or reach out to someone in the Taiwanese community because I want to know how many players were grinding because Z40 looked really good. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I could just tell Clouds been practicing like crazy. Well, they dude. were probably... They were probably also practicing anyway before this for like Nations Cup and stuff because yeah. I know they take that seriously yep. and delicious World Cup, right? Yep. So they're probably active anyway. As Fire comes in with four galleys, he only made four and then he immediately started queuing fish even without scouting yep. what was happening here because he knows Cloud's going FC. So there goes the fishing eco from Cloud. I love how Cloud attacked the house. You know me. Appreciate that. The Fire did garrison and missed all the shots, but... You know, this is not a surprise to Cloud. He's expecting to lose the fish. Good job from him only to lose two, but good job from Fire to he can't fish, prioritize though. fishing <laughs> away. Yeah. Like he can't, can't do anything. He's also taken a couple of hits on his scout, and Fire might come over here and kill this scout. If he can kill that, that's actually really nice. Then you can hide your TC locations. Look at him. He's kind of like <gasps> swooping in with the galleys. He's like, I'm here. Hello. Oh, the dodge, though. How did Cloud dodge Bro, that? that was sick. That's sick Neo movement there. Look at the market use from Fire. So Fire just wants to rush up to Castleage, knowing Cloud will be faster. Mm -hmm. Fire does have the economic lead right now. I think he forgot he was Italian, so he bought 100 extra food. <laughs> Classic. Sneaks up on you sometimes, you know? So I think it's an option for Cloud to try and go back on water, but you should probably just give up water at this point. Stick to your strat. Yeah. Don't, don't try mean, and compete poles... with Italians on water. You can get back on water later, maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> like, it's not gonna, it's <laughs> not gonna give you any real advantage here. And fire will just, if he sees you get back on water, he just invests more, and he's got mm -hmm. more on there to begin with. So you take your advantages right now. Your advantage is getting up to castle age significantly faster. You get all of your farm upgrades, which he's doing right now. You get your TCs down, and you're laughing, dude. Especially if you see those deer in the back. Does he see those? He does. Yes, yeah, nice. This is this is great. And then if you're ever concerned you that you're going to be uh, pushed in any way, you transfer more villagers to stone. Mm -hmm. But in the meanwhile, you're probably just going to farm with those bills. And I I've seen players stonewall too. Like it, in some of the practice games I've watched, players are just fully stonewalling four TCs. And they're just like, "Come get me." Because if you push me, you're going to have to choose a side. And if you pick one side, I'm going to go to the other, right? It's really cool. I like the uh the idea behind the strategy. 
If only Cloud had fire space. Look at fire space and imagine the full work potential. I know, there. true. <laughs> Dude, it is an empty field here. Oh my god, true. You could lot, you could stack like twelve in a row over here. Look at how fire is house walled the left. It's it's kind of interesting. That's gonna block off hmm. a bit of space for him. Yeah. I mean, if he walls, if he puts another house in a dock there, he can mm -hmm. fully wall that area. Yeah. Too bad you can't make like a, a gate dock. So you don't give them any ideas. Yeah, that's true. I should have shut up. Someone just before this was like, what do you think about building ships? I was like, shut up, shut up. <laughs> we don't <laughs> want ships quick walling, okay? <laughs> so. Imagine imagine if you could quick wall the fish traps. True. That would be the most expensive <laughs> True. quick wall, but like if you had the resin like game and you're trying to trap a navy or something. Imagine it would be imagine funny. explaining that to someone who's new. Like it's already weird yeah. for houses to block armies. <laughs> oh man. I I like Cloud's uh full work positioning though. Um I know he doesn't have as much space, but I think he's gonna be the able to. The one in the back is down. beautiful. Yep. Yeah, I mean he's got the deer there and then you add in the farms. It's fantastic. You miss out on one farm placement, mm -hmm. you're laughing. Yeah, seven fishing ships for fire. I did like the redock from him. So the fish is a little bit more efficient. He just did kill the final fishing ship from Cloud. Cloud is now going to scout the north. He should realize at this point that he is much closer to the gold in the south than he is to the one in the north. But he's got the eco lead because of this boom strategy. And mm -hmm. you kind of uh, know what's coming fire with Fire has the fish too, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe not in terms of resources brought in. Fire is still ahead there, but at least the, the amount of workers. Yep. I like... Fire just added two TCs, so he's going to be catching up. Yeah. Here. Or keeping pace, rather. And he has the fish as well. So if I had to guess, because fire is so heavy on stone that he was planning for a castle in the south, it just would feel more natural to go to the south because it's where he has the villagers... Mining stone, but he's getting relics for now, which is great. Look at Cloud, dude. Scout's weak. Heal it up. We're basically playing arena. And then he's going to move out and get relics as well. Fire is going to have docks on Cloud's side of the pond soon. Yeah. Like, he is just constantly coming across. I really like it. A lot yeah, of people wouldn't do this. If Fire loves his water play. And, and I would say that I, I can't... I cannot disagree with how he's played it. He didn't overmake ships. He didn't rush fletching mm -hmm. even, which a lot of players have done. And he's just prioritized the economic side of things. So, dude, if if fire goes for a wall, you see where that forward dock is, right? If he walls from the wood line there, yeah, and then true. the wood line to the edge, and then goes for the castle in the southern gold, yeah, like he's effectively as long as there's no hidden TC or something right now in the north, he's cutting cloud off of gold. It's a good point. Like completely, he has an outpost, so he could think of that, but. It's not a pro player thing to do, you know? Like, if one player does it, and then we see 10 other games on it, then it becomes meta, kind of like people walling in players on Arena well, when they're going all in. It's only really meta on this, like, layout, where yeah, it's so yeah, far yeah. away from him, right? Yeah, and when you add that dock there, which we haven't seen much of. Mm. Cloud gets the relic, Fire shows up because he knew the relic was there, and he saw that it disappeared. And then uh, Cloud just rewalled behind his monk. That's good stuff. Still made a game. Cloud has 19 villagers queued, though. His food <laughs> Dude, is coming in real nice, right now. man. He's gaming. Oh. <laughs> Look at the full work in the corner there, too. He's like, you can tell the mental gymnastics for him trying to place that. <laughs> and he only ends up getting, what, five farms around it? Yeah, what he really needs, as we see the scouts and some monks getting involved, what he really needs is he needs that gold. Uh, that he started taking to to disappear, and once that's taken, he deletes the mining camp, deletes the lumber camp, and he's got two more full works. Mm -hmm. I love that from Cloud. Heals up the scout, and he's dropping the castle in the south, Dave. He's going to be sending the vills. I know, and Fire's going super safe with his first castle, even though he had outposts over there. Yeah, but if Fire has Genoese, that, he'll see. Yeah, he'll see that castle foundation. He's going for another outpost. Like he's getting really good exploration. And he's killing the monks with the oh. scout. Oh, scout gets converted. Oh. That's interesting. The monks die, though. All right, so scout will be helpful. Fire sees it. I love the fact that fire has built so many outposts here. It makes it so much easier for him to make decisions. But he's not going to be able to stop this castle. A cloud. Look at that eco from cloud. He just uncued like twenty <laughs> villagers, dude. dude. <laughs> 
and he can't go in because he doesn't have the the second building yet. But he wow, have the building. He's got eighteen hundred food burning a hole in his pocket. I mean, at this point, just sell like one k of that, he's, right? Get some gold in the bag. He's or collected twenty five hundred more food. Listen, I, I think crazy. you I think you rush slatcha privilege. Yep. And you just spam cavalier. You're not going to need a lot of gold for it. You the the key here, I think, with your cavalier is you send them through the middle. You mm. don't send them into the side. Yeah. A lot of players will want to send them to the side, but you send them to the middle. Fire's going to have no defense, and then he's going to have to come back with his Genoese expo yeah. or monks or whatever to deal with that. Yeah, and like even if you don't go mid, the whole point is swing sides because fire is going to have to build up and fortify one side at a time. Oh, nice lame on the golds there from fire. That's cheeky. <laughs> Laming the golds near yeah. Cloud's base. I don't think Cloud really is going to care about that. Cloud has 18 vil skewed again. <laughs> Dude, this <laughs> uh, this is going to be hard to stop. Genoese crossbow counter cap really well. Like, even fully upgraded paladins, right? So the fact yeah. that poles don't get the final armor and they only are on cavalier is an issue. But it's just the number potential and the raid potential. I Fire could have three castles in both gold areas, and I still think you could have problems with the raids. It's Obook. Fletching, cav armor is in, but archer ranges are coming out. So Cloud is going for Arbalest. Cloud, you've got to chill with the Vils here, buddy. He's got 25. 25. <laughs> and he's nervous, man. He's just spamming that. <laughs> I mean, this might be the, the overboom of all overbooms here from Cloud because he's still not really making armies. So, Germs. Okay, so he's opening Skirms. Skirm Fire can always go into um, condos. Yeah, Skirm Obook, Skirm Obook is, is pretty decent. Um, I, I think the big thing to mention here is that Fire sees the, the one range coming up because he had mm -hmm. the buildings in the south, so Fire should have an idea that it's not going to be Cav. But it still could be Cav as well. Like I think it's fair to say that Cloud could have been a bit more ready for Imp. And he could have been ready to push. It, I think if he had like if he had like four stables, slot of privileges, which he could have afforded if hey, he yeah, didn't queue up yeah, yeah, that yeah. many vills, and and then he had like fifteen knights and they just went across the middle. Yeah, I think fire would have all sorts of problems. Yep. Yeah, but the fire's never expecting that. No one ever goes yeah. through the middle. The fire could always add more navy later on, but I think even that just that first raid would be problematic. Okay, so Skirm's oh, pushed that, forward for sad. Cloud. The battlefield is going to be in the south for now. Blacksmith upgrades are really delayed for Cloud here. He doesn't have armor on his Skirm's yet. But his economy is insane. He's got gold. He's got stone. The old books are incredibly loud and distracting me. So I can't wait for them to take out these buildings. Just crazy stuff. But Cloud uh, doesn't have protection on the other side. And Fire sees him. Mm -hmm. And that he's exposed there because of that one outpost. So if... Fire once. He could maybe use bombard cannons next to his castles, and then he could try and raid with something on the other side of Cloud Space. Please, Archer Ranch, just die faster so I don't have to listen to that. They're, they're way too loud, man. <laughs> the fact that they but, removed yet, the Tarkin. sound entirely from Tarkins and then and then yeah, Old Books are going there. ten times louder than anything else in the game is insane. I mean, they are shredding armor, but it's just, it's a lot. And first Treb's out here for Cloud. Cloud's going to have chemistry completed soon. It could maybe go for Bombard Cannons. And I mean, Fire was expecting Cav, and Fire's just on Genoese right now. And it's Fire's sinking Ram stone into well. repairing this. So this is good for uh, Cloud. Capped Ram is really weird here when you see the Obux. Yeah, is it, it Obux? O Obuckers? I think it's o like Obux. I think you gotta go. Oh, no, no, no. The plural. Is it just oh, book for plural or is it oh, books? Hmm. I think it's just oh, oh book, honestly. Oh, butchy? Oh, oh butchy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something Bullet would say. Yeah. Oh, butchy, butchy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think we're right on that. I don't know. Oh, Someone, I'm sure we're gonna have 16 different ways. To say it once people have their say but okay capped ram i mean it's really good against skirms yeah but it can't get through the gold here yeah. to get at anything yeah it's true bombard cannons on the way from fire bombard cannons on the way from cloud but the cannons are coming faster for fire and remember imp was in faster for cloud so we i was a little critical of how late some of his upgrades were mm -hmm. 
It's possible that if Fire can actually move out with the cannons, which he might not be able to, that the cannons could make all the difference, Dave. But I say he might not be able to because they're going to pop out now. The Skirm's are ready. And the castle could go down for Fire. There's the cannons. Kill the cannons, Cloud. Yeah, and Fire isn't pushing on the other side either. Mm -mm. Like, I think Fire, what he needs to do here is try and hold the castles and then maybe water pressure. Yeah, maybe. Maybe some cannon galleons or something to deal with the castles from the other side. He's just going to double down, or I don't know if you can call it doubling down because he's already lost the castle, but he's running all of his Genoese to kill a Bombard Cannon. They're all going to die. Oh, and it's not even going to get it. It's not even going to get it, Tristan. Oh, no. They all died, dude. They all died. Now he's making a switch into Cavalry. Cloud is actually playing this really nicely yeah. as an opening. Very patient. The Skirms have done work. That Rams were what looks to be a terrible choice mm -hmm. from Fire because they didn't do anything. Fires probably can't believe it right now. He 3 0 his previous opponent. It, he, you know, the, back to my, what I said in the Dark Age, you know, he should have some confidence because he's the most experienced player. And momentum is everything, right? So if you get a big confidence boost, <clears throat> if your Cloud here start off this series and Fire starts to doubt himself a little bit or be frustrated, it could affect the future games. Love the castle from Cloud that he's placing on the other flank, mm -hmm. just in case raids could eventually become a thing. But, you know, fire's just gonna run out of stone, it feels like, as another Bombard Cannon's exposed, and that cannon could die, does die, to the Obok. Yep. Dang, Castles dude. have gotten fire a lot of kills. Like, that castle he just built that's going down now had 20 kills on it. Yep. In the, like, two minutes it oh, was up, but surprise I mean, cannons from fire. He didn't even know they were in there. Oh, he forgot about them, or maybe he just couldn't on Garrison earlier, right? He still has two queued from those Siege Workshops. Yeah. Oh, man. I think he's reeling right now. Like, I think Fire, he really wasn't expecting this. And he's probably going through a list of what he could try in his head, and Dude, on that list is Lycav. I think it's water. Like, I really think so. Yeah. Because if, if you get water control, Cloud can't push past this choke point. Add like, add like 10 galleons. Yeah, 10 galleons. And then if the galleons allow you to hold this area, you could try and push the other side. I agree with that. But I think Cloud in this moment, you've fully controlled this area. You either mm. send everything and push right now, which he might do. Or you just spam cav raids to the other area. He doesn't have vision there. And he probably wants to push more than anything, but... I think Fire's way back is if Fire still has free access to the gold in the north. There's zero castles yeah. for Fire in the north. So a raid could end him there. Yeah, that's the thing for him. He still has a decent eco, right? He's kind of housed right now because he just lost three castles in a row. Yeah. But uh, he still has full uncontested access to the stone and the golds in the north. And Cloud had to fight for his access over there. But he's got elite Obook now. Bomber cannons, skirmishers. He can always go into Cavalier or Wing to Sar later. Mm -hmm. I think this Obook in the north that's going to make it to the gold area will be really helpful for Cloud because he, he won't see a castle there, which will probably build up some confidence for him. He's got to be careful with his cannons here, Cloud. Uh, I like the light cap choice here from Fire. It doesn't cost any gold. It gives you some mobility, which he's been lacking. But it's still not an answer to the Obook. Obook and, and Skirm is still really strong. Cannon Galleons coming out from fire. They do splash damage now, right? So Yeah, could be good. And you can attack around with them, too. Yep. If you get, like, 15 of them... Oh, man, he's never passing this area. This? Never. I, I think oh, fire could stabilize oh. this with the Navy. Yep, there you go. Cannon Galleons will take the trap. Uh, the Light Cav take the Bombard Cannons, and fire can hold this. I don't know if you run in here if you're Cloud. You could tell Cloud's like, oh no, that could be bad for me. This could give fire time. Let's just fight anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Skirms, please stack up here. Please stack up for these cannon galleons. Oh, it's not happening. No attack round attempt from fire, but he the is demo going for War Galley. Right there too. Holy. Fire can now, you know, get a castle in the north, which he should probably prioritize. He's he's pretty much held in the south. And Dave, same thing. If Cav went through the middle, I'm seeing Obel go through the middle. Yep. But if Light Cav from Fire went through that middle area, it'd go directly into Cloud's farming eco. And both players just do not think I, about that possibility. I think it's just because, like, no one ever goes through the middle that you, at a certain point, you just don't realize it's possible. Yeah, agreed. I can see from Cloud's perspective, he doesn't want to go through the middle where there might be Navy. And now Cloud is getting War Galley. Fire got War Galley. So they both realize at the same time <laughs> that Navy is actually useful in this map. Yeah. 
And honestly, I think Fire is in a fine spot. He has more relics. The Obelix Skirm composition has its capped now. It can't push any further. Um, I think Fire is giving Cloud a decent fight, but still. And Fire's got the uh, resources secured in the north, and this game will go very, very late. Which could mm -hmm. be concerning for the poles, right? Because when you're thinking poles, you're thinking you're not thinking they have the best units. It's just that their economy is strong and they can afford to make a lot of them. Well, I mean, winged hussar are pretty freaking good, right? That's true. That's true. We'll see if we see the winged hussar. And actually, I take back what I was saying. Cloud was able to take this fight. The old books have high enough pierce armor, and the castle for fire will fall to these strebs. And here come the fires from behind. And it's the wrong kind of fire. It's not fire of the person. It's fire of the unit. And the uh, the cannon galleons are going down. Yeah. If you had winged Hussar right now and you could raid anywhere, anywhere in yep. fire space, it'd be amazing. Fire does not have the castles to defend from that. But it's the it's the hammer boys that are going to town more than anything right now for Cloud as he wants to castle creep forward. He wants to drop a castle next to those trebs. I'm sure he'll get that down. The fast fire upgrade will be nice for Cloud, and he's going to have eight of them in the middle. Fire's going to add more, though, so fire could probably stabilize. New strat. Peel away all the fast fire ship armor with Obux, and then hit them with your skirmishers. It, can you Easy. can you take the armor off with an Obux? I guess yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. Yeah, huh. it was doing that earlier. Okay. One of those was eight minus five. Yeah, I mean, that's not one of those... That's not... That was not on the list of conversations I thought we would have before this series. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cloud lost a, a few units to the castle from fire in the north. So that shows me he's thinking about that area. Mm. But he's still making progress here. And fire is adding more and more stone walls, too. This is fire's farming eco, but he's got double castle at home. What a game. You just go fortified wall like 15 layers and then control the navy. Yeah. Or the water. Unfortunately, no now push, but... where the trebs are for cloud and where the castle is, cannon galleons can't really help that much. I think elite cannon, cannon galleons, galleons could range, range the castle. Yeah, yeah, but not up against the edge of the map. That would yeah. be your only risk, right? You'd have to keep a couple of bombard cannons on the other side. Fire's got five bombard cannons. I'm concerned that cloud's going to lose this position. Yeah, that castle a lot of units. is not a good idea. Like, that castle Rip. tried to go up, and then it went immediately down. Fire actually was missing wheel or handcart, which okay. is important. He's going to get that right now. Oh, now Fire's going to lose his Bombard Cannons, though, because he's he just took a, a good fight, and now he's looking somewhere else, and uh, oh, tragic. expensive losses. He kept one alive, at least. He's pushing up again. Treb's still trying to find somewhere to sit. Lots of they're fires have to from fall cloud back, in the middle. But there's so many Obuk, dude. They're just yeah. streaming in. Lots of fires from Cloud, too. He's going to take some good fights. If you take out the docks completely from fire, then you can go Galleon. Mm -hmm. And the thing about this Obuk, it's attached to the poles, right? The Civ, which is so good with their cab and their eco. And has decent range units. Bomber cannon, Siege Ram, etc. It shreds armor. It's relatively cheap, and it is has six pierce armor. Like, Elite Samurai doesn't have six pierce armor. So it's, it's deceivingly strong in these moments, and that's why Cloud continues to make them. And I'm not seeing a real way for Fire to push this back at the moment. There's just red dots all over, whether it's in the middle or it's in the back of his base. There's three Obux in the north right now for him to deal with. This is brutal. Still not even Elite Genoese Expo, right? Oh, yeah. That's it's just... But it's like, do you even, really like, I rough. think you need to stop making Genoese crossbow then, right? I like, think you needed water, dude. I yeah. think you needed water. You yeah. could have stopped all of this from happening. But, I mean, it was just a little bit too late to make the switch to that, right? Okay, Cloud's got Trebs now from the castle on his right flank. So he'll start to push that area slowly. And he's just trying to chip away at Fire on the left side still. Fire tries to take a Treb. We'll take the Treb. And does a better job at saving his Bombard Cannons is now he goes for Elite Skirm. Which I think is good. Adding your own Skirms, adding an Arbalest. Can't disagree with that. But he just needs... Mm -hmm. He needs a foothold. It doesn't feel like it's going to be easy for him to push Cloud back. Oh, and he's losing all his Genoese. Oh, no. Yeah, it's because he's looking Boy. on the right side right now. Because there's Trebs coming forward from Cloud. I think Cloud, he's got the right idea. But if you're going to do that, I think drop a castle next to your Trebs. Neither player has careening here. That's interesting. It's probably it's probably really hard to think about that here, I think. Yeah. So, um, 
I saw a game which was Poles versus Romans on this map. And the game, it was similar to this, but it went until there was no gold left on the map. I have never seen that. On yeah, here. it's sick, dude. <laughs> it was amazing. Winged Hussars versus Legionaries and Heavy Scorpion. It was pretty ridiculous. Oh, that's a lot of cannons for fire. Yeah. Just keep, you got to keep tabs on these ones for sure. Yep. And he's getting Cavalier too. And he's kind of like massing the Cavalier back. I wonder if he's going to go across. I would love to see that. More stables being added here from Cloud as well at home. Tons yeah, like, of stables there. Like normally you see a push from Cloud in any other map and you think, okay, Cloud's winning this game. He hasn't lost ground and he's pushing. Mm -hmm. But both players are just one big raid away from swinging it. Lead Genoa's Expo on the way too. Yeah, and, and yeah, as and that's Trebs happening, we have the cab upgrades forward. for Cloud. Trebs are moving forward in the north, but right into the army from Fire. Mm. But Fire doesn't really have Ooh. any units to oh, deal with. Trebs. Genoese crossbowmen suck Genoese against Expo. Trebs. Okay. <laughs> yep. And, and they're both looking on the other side. Cannons are being targeted over there. The Cavalier are engaging against the Skirms. They're not going across into Cloud's eco. Winged Hussar for Cloud. He's got enough food to spam some winged Hussars. And, and finally, he'll have a unit, which he's okay with just sending in randomly into someone into yeah. Fire's Eco, because he's had to really pay close attention to his numbers to protect his siege. Winged Hussars don't have to be part of that. I think Fire can win the water right now if he goes out with those Fire ships. Yeah, but he's really focused on saving that castle, Dave. But like you said, winning the water could be helpful there. He's bringing Cavalier over to take those Trebs. He had nothing really to protect the Trebs from Cloud. He had units there, but they got pulled into the castle fire. And then big fight on the other side where fire loses a trap. Dude, this game is insane. What a way to start a series. Yep. Long one, too. Two bomber cannons going down from Cloud on the other side. He's only got one left. Fire managed to save two of those Trebs. The castle has been saved. The Treb is going down there. Nice little pushback from fire. And he's still got fire ships inside of his docks, too. Mm -hmm. He wants to clear the water. Something I'm noticing is fire is still creating vills at 147 vills. That's a big deal right now. And it makes sense when you're under the most pressure to possibly overboom, but he really needs army count. And if he's over 150 villagers, he's not going to be able to make as much as Cloud. Well, I mean, he's not pop capped yet, so we'll worry about that when he's uh, yeah, actually yeah, yeah. pop capped, right? He's got two castles in the north now, fire. Doesn't have a lot of production buildings up there, though, besides the castles. And as I say that, he'll drop stables. And uh, farm count higher for Cloud than it was a moment ago. So he is finding time to add more farms with the poles. Beautiful full work in the south. Finding space. Yep. <laughs> this is the biggest <laughs> issue, right? That was what I looked for. I was like, where did he He's do that? He cleared some. 190 pop for fire. Did he? I think he just deleted Vils somewhere. He did. He, he did deleted in the left, in the left corner. Yep. yep. Yeah, he saw he was pop capped nice. and he deleted Vils. Yep. And now the Genoese Expo are really coming in clutch. Just shredding the Winged Hussar. Yeah. Dude, Winged Hussar through the middle. Maybe Cloud will do it once he takes out the dock in the middle. If he takes out the dock in the middle. There's four fast fires in there. Fire doesn't realize they're in there. When they pop out, they might even be able to win that fight. Because a bunch of those fires are weak. Oh, man. Fire, only two trebs. He moves forward, feeling desperate. He'll lose a treb to the Bombard Cannon as the Olvok and the Hussars are here. Did we see uh, the Legacy tech yet from Cloud? I think Lichitic Legacy is in, yeah. Okay, I'm glad. I just wanted you to say the first part of that. Um, because if that's in, the Hussars, when they do engage, will be insane. And we've got Cannon Galleons in the middle from Cloud. We have a Bombard Cannon on the left. He got Hussars into the left corner. He's got Olvok into the northern corner. He still hasn't taken any damage anywhere. He's making progress. I was at 140 bills still, though. Yeah, true. And fire will snipe the bomber cannons and snipe the cannon galleon. So his castle and will stay up. I he's, think he's thinking about a push in the north now. He's making trebs and he's got some units there. He needs something. So if he dude. stabilizes in the south, he can start a push in the north. He's ooh. killed the units in the back of his base. I said ooh because he did send hussars through the middle. So I don't know if he was if that was intentional or if it was just a pathing thing. But finally, this might give Cloud some ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Cloud goes for another castle position forward, and he might even get away with this one, as all the Genoese Expo are kind of busy dealing with all the raiding units. Or maybe the Foundation just dies right away again. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Yeah. 
Beauty of the Hussar, even if you lose 20 units to kill one bomber cannon, it's worth it. He's gonna go he's in. He's gonna kill it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets it. He gets it. There's only one trap from fire. There's the uh, tech we were talking about. Oh, it's not in. Okay. Someone but, said it was in my chat. No. Liars. No trebs for Cloud here, though. If you get that castle up and you've got trebs now on the castles, it's great. But he's losing a lot of units to the castles. I think he's actually just waiting for the cannon galleons, though. Oh, yeah. There you go. That'll take some time, but that'll do the job. But there's two fires from the other oh, side. Oh, no. <laughs> and oh, there's no. a bomber cannon as Fire well. Fire doesn't so, have any docks. I'd be so annoyed. But yeah. he did notice this. He's also pushing that castle in the north of Cloud's base. Uh, Great game. Ooh, wow. Cloud's Iris, playing yeah. really nice here. Same with Fire. Yeah, seriously. All good the game cannon galleons going down to like zero HP. Save them, no. They have 12 HP total, dude. Dude. Oh, no. That's huge. And now Fire's That's starting massive. to push. And Cloud doesn't. Cloud has one castle in this area. He's yeah. just fully fortified the south. He never fortified the other side. And Fire's holding. Oh. He he went he got through with Winged Hussar. He's in the back of Fire's Oh, with and Fire's house walling. He's trying to quick wall. Well, There's I mean they're gonna get through eventually. Massive hole on the other side. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt Fire so much. Oh wow. How many Vills are up here? Oh my that's like his whole eco up yeah. here. Seventy four Vills on one screen. Cloud's really taking his time to engage though. He must be looking at something else because he didn't fight at all. He passed a lot of Vills. And Dave, now there's gonna be Hussars from Fire into Cloud's economy where there is nothing and there's no production buildings either. Yep. So a complete base trade of sorts here. And both players are going to go take down losses. From fire on the left side though. So yeah. Cloud is still pushing up from that side too. I think my concern for Cloud is if Fire brings the Genoese crossbowmen into the raid that the only thing Cloud's going to send to clear up the Hussar raid is his own Hussars and the Gen bows yep. will kill that. Well, he's got 46 scrims in the queue. His queue is really good. Yeah. If you're looking at his resources and thinking, well, he doesn't have that much. No, he's got like over 100 units in the mm -hmm. queue right now. I really, I think you could even consider like Onager against the Genoese crossbowmen. Bit harder to control, of course. And Fire's got one castle to protect his eco, but Fire has, has relocated a lot of his eco. Having said that, Fire's lost 75 villagers in this game. Cloud has only lost 12. He's only lost 12. Wow. I think that's going to change. Look at the evacuation <laughs> from Cloud. He's got so many idols. And then the villagers that aren't idle are on the move. But okay, Winged Hussar. Bit of trample damage. Let's see what that can do. Uh, Genoese Crossbowman Shred here. Cloud's still wanting to push on the other side. He just lost a Bombard Cannon, but he's still got one Treb. I think Fire will be able to take that out, though, Dave. Fire's got the population yeah, Fire, lead. He needs to save that castle, though. You can't have a castle list side over here. Yeah, yeah. I think Cloud and two should bomber go... cannons are coming out. He might be able to snipe the bomber cannons from Fire. Uh, he gets one. He loses his trap. I honestly think Cloud needs an answer to the Genoese crossbowman now, and I think the answer might be Arbalest instead of Skirm. Or maybe a maybe whole lot more Obook. Maybe he it's just definitely needs not look. winged Hussar. They're getting absolutely shredded. Yeah, uh, I think he needs, Where are he the needs skirms? more Obok, and there are skirms on the way. Dude, there's, there's a Bumber massive Cannon traffic too. jam. If you look at the stables from Cloud in the South, there's a bunch of units getting stuck there. Yep. What a game. This might go fire's almost out of gold in the north. Like Cloud might clear this with the bomber cannon. Just shoot, just shoot, just shoot, just shoot, just shoot, just shoot, just shoot. Well, just he sh shot. He missed, but Fire, this is the second time in this game where he tries to kill a Bomber Cannon with the Genoese Crossbowman, and he's quickly reminded of how little range these things have. Demo. Fires oh. something. You've got Fires over on the other side. Bring them over. Cloud's got a Cannon Galleon on the TC from Fire. There's still Fire ships around. Cloud's bringing in Trebs and Bomber Cannons on the left, Dave. I think he's finally built up enough of an army to stop Fire from pushing his farming eco. Because the skirm and the did, old book number is decent enough. He did lose two of his relics. I mean, Fire's been getting that relic gold the whole time, and he's running out of gold in the north. Like, yeah. There's only how much? 3k left on those gold piles in the north? Yep, 3k. I think the poles are just going to outgrind the Italians here. Yeah, and now if you're Cloud, 
You take this fight, but then you kill those two trebs from fire. Don't let fire yeah. be around with any trebs. And that castle is going to go down to the left too. So it's like, oh man. And Cloud buys the stone for another castle. How many castles has he built in this four. game? <laughs> oh my right here? God. You mean just in this location? Yeah, right, right here, here like... it's four. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah. I think fire's slowly coming to the conclusion that he, he just can't break it, but... Maybe he's not, right? He's got the score lead. He still has four relics. But it can't I mean, feel good to does, be losing that entire corner. If he does take this position where those Genoese are, there is that gold that he lamed earlier. There's two piles That's of true. gold there. That's <laughs> true. Oh, God. But his Genbos, they get pushed oh, back. No. 157 pop now for yeah. him. Yeah, and no it, castle it becomes on the really left. hard to stabilize. One, yeah, once you have no castle, yeah. good luck pushing back the castles that Cloud's just built. Still would Cloud like to see it. Cloud. If we're in the, if he's in the business of buying stone, I would like to see him build a castle where he just took out the trebs again. Just like secure that area in case there's going to be raids from fire because fire still I, does have hussars. I honestly think you're fine now, dude. Yeah. It's just like you, you've shut, you've got him in a corner now with that castle taken out, both of them on the left side, a castle of your own. Just keep up the production. You're fine. And look at his production: sixty-five obook in the queue. Not even win Kassar. And then 70 skirms. And then look at his yeah. resources in Q. Yeah. yeah. And make some make some cannon galleons. You got the fires in the center. Make some cannon galleons. Cut off all of this stuff from fire. And you're fine. Cloud opening the series with a great strategy, man. Yep. Skirm, oval opening. I was a little unconvinced because he was a little late with upgrades. But fire is never able to push back. Ooh, big bomber cannon shots here from Cloud. He's taking out bomber cannons from fire. Okay, big Maybe shots. Maybe Genbos as well. Yep, just stick next to your castle fire if you can, if you're Cloud. And you might be able to keep those bomber cannons alive. Great job from fire to go in for the cannons. He'll likely get one. Actually ends up getting both of them here, I think. That's impressive. Well played. And he still hasn't been pushed on the other side. He's still in it. 115 vils. is just 30 army behind right now. God, it must be so annoying to be fire right now. God, though. every every time I look back at Cloud's base, there's just a stream of units coming forward. And you can tell from the KD. Like, fire's been grinding him down, but yep. Cloud is still outproducing him in every moment. Yep. And it, Cloud is happy to toss away 10 units to kill a cannon as he just does that there on the left. Yeah. And if you, as long as you have the fortifications, it's fine. If you don't have fortifications, when you toss away army, that gives them time to move out across the map. I still think fire sending hussars. Well, no, sending hussars through the middle would be cut off by the fast fires now. I guess. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of ways that fire can do something different than just react. I think he's in that position where he can't really take the initiative. He's just grinding him down and hoping that Cloud will forget to produce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which happens. That he makes you know, a mistake. In a long game. Yeah. Yeah, it does happen. I or don't like he's gonna have 20 idle armies somewhere in the back of his base yeah and he can take advantage of it honestly once fire loses these relics i mean the golden comes almost gone uh in terms of the mining gold once he loses access to those relics he's not getting that position back and cloud is going to get his relics again and the nice fires cloud timing. from clouds are going to yeah heavy plow uh fires from cloud are going to kill all these villagers but hey fire's making a castle on the other side, Dave. Yep. It's kind of moving forward a little bit here. He's trying to go towards that two tiles of gold. He sees it. He's <laughs> identified that. That's his new mission. Uh, Cloud, he's done everything right here. Do you do you delete a couple of fires in this position, or are you still happy with that? The fires are fine. I think you add cannon galleons. That's yeah. exactly what he's doing. Nice. He's got a castle. And send in, just send in your army from the other side, and you're Gucci. Cloud needs all of his you're ranges, fine. stables, castles to get his production going to that right side right now. Mm -hmm. That castle is awkward. I think it'll go up. If fire reacts right now, though, he can deny it. All of his units are still streaming to the left side. Yeah. Okay, he, he now knows the Genoese crossbow murder there because of the attack. And he's going to lose farmers Galleon. on the right side. Galleon coming in. If you're making galleons, now you delete the fires. Yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Well, you, you don't it, have enough pop space for it's, that. It's really tough to, to get your population right here. Fire's got everything on land, which is really helping him. 
I think, Relics I think have there's been some ejected. concern right now for Cloud because of these raids, especially if Fire had trebs right now and was trebbing down the castles and the relics. Run, Monk! Fire's trying to leave with the relics. <laughs> Run! Uh, okay, takes the cannon. Well played, Cloud. Old Book Skirm still doing the job here, Dave. And Fire's just left with one corner of the map. Amazing how he's holding on, though. Yeah. He is holding yeah. on. And he, he's waiting until that castle goes down. He's got his eye on those two little piles of gold <laughs> over there. Oh. Uh, but now there's Hussars and there's Ulvuk on the way. And Cloud's going to hold on to this area as long as he can. If Look he had a couple KD. siege workshops here for Bombard Cannons, that could be helpful. Yeah, the KD's just insane. But the Eco Disgusting. KD. Look at the Eco yeah. KD, though, right? That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I love games like this where you, you grind your opponent down. They might have the better units, but... You get the better positioning. Oh, there's so many villagers from fire in this top corner. I, I am selecting right now, and I'm seeing 84 villagers Whew. in this top corner. Yep. And he somehow still has 40 on food. Don't ask me how that's achievable. It doesn't seem like he really has the space. But he doesn't have much of a queue right now, Dave. So once this army is dead with his trebs and his cannon, that's probably going to be it for him. And yeah, his eco's getting torn to bits here by the, the army from Cloud that is, is advancing in. Uh, I don't do not think Cloud can kill the siege push from Fire. Not yet. I think Cloud's gonna have to lose that castle. Just send more vills and just keep repairing it. It's buying you so much time. Nope, yeah. castle's down. Maybe buy another one. <laughs> do <laughs> stone walls. Do something. Because right now you're killing everything in the north. Mm -hmm. You just got to keep doing that. And then you can turn your attention over to the other side eventually. Yeah. The fire does have gold now. So he's got 1,600 more gold to work with. He's got Ooh, 10 Hussars and 45 these... Genoese crossbowmen. I think Cloud can take out these castles from fire with his cannon galleons. Oh, really yeah, nice he can. So... Oh, that hurts yeah. so much. And then also there's still some siege left over for Cloud on the left side, so he could take out the remaining castle too. But he, he has to focus on defending now. If he defends here, he wins this game. And it's a big momentum boost to start the series. Cloud's using the skirms on the Genoese crossbowmen. And then sending in Hussars and Obux. And Fire's not going to be able to make more Genoese crossbowmen. He's Omega House. He's Giga House. Giga? <laughs> Fire just lost the castle in his base. He's losing houses as well, so he can't produce anything. Every unit you take out here, Fire cannot replace yep. currently. And I think Fire probably knows it's coming, but the score's still rising. He's still oh, making you hate... some progress. You just hate to lose games like this, man. And there is no pain quite like losing a game like this yeah. that has gone on for an hour and 20 minutes where you had a winning position. And then you have the KD and all yeah. of that. And then you're just yeah. like, no. And also, this is the final Civ pick for Cloud. The last one. And I don't know what order it was for Fire, because I don't remember. But it, it's got to be one, at least the first or second pick. Mm -hmm. and this, it's going to be the a score thing... flip into GG here, right? Cloud takes a score lead again. Fire's population is 120. Yep. Surely Fire realizes now he's got nothing. The only thing that could have been done from Cloud, maybe more forward production buildings, but then you have all your military forward and you kind of needed to defend against this. So I can mm -hmm. see why he wouldn't do that. Yeah. But still, like his, man, his production this whole game has been insane. Four cab archers now from Cloud <laughs> that's, as that's, well. That's a, class, that's a misclick right there. <laughs> There's no way he planned it. <laughs> it's been a long game, right? So he'll probably misclick some trade cogs pretty soon out of his docks. <laughs> Well, yeah. This is what you were looking for when you pick poles on yeah. shoals, right? You're looking to just outlast your opponent. Yeah, and, and just the style of gameplay is so very different from what we see with Malay or Italians or Byzantines. And it can be a frustrating thing to face up against. Fire calls the GG. It was a one hour and 22 minute game. Cloud created 514 oval in that game. Oh my goodness. And mm -hmm. uh, he gets the job done. For Fire, he must not have created over 260 Genoese crossbows because that would replace the Hussar image there. But um, his Genoese crossbowmen were getting kills. They but were they, farming. Yeah. yeah, but they just weren't able to push it all. And that all comes down to Cloud doing an excellent job in early Imp. Um, again, I, I'm thinking back. He's on the way to Imp. He had like 25 vills in queue. His economy was ridiculous. And Fire could never really do anything to punish it. The discrepancy between Eco 
KD and actual KD is crazy. Mm -hmm. It just shows what Cloud was doing all the game, right? He yep. was just killing villagers the entire time. He was, I mean, really making use of his Polish bonuses. The farms and the stone, of course. Getting the extra gold from it was really useful. So, nice job from Cloud. I just, I have to wonder if Fire had sent his Cavalier or Hussar across, or if Cloud had gone for Knights and sent them across into the base, we might have had a completely different and faster game. Yeah. Or if they had gone onto water sooner, earlier, especially Fire. I think he could have held that initial push if he had water instead of the Rams. Yeah, I think... I agree with you. There were definitely some moments there where Fire was able to hold with with Navy, uh, or while he was holding with the units he was, if he went middle, maybe Cloud would have collapsed because every single farmer for a while was right in the middle, and there was no castles whatsoever. But honestly, it's not something I really thought of too much until you brought it back up again, and I, I feel like the players are probably in the same boat there. Casual double the food count collected. 80, 81,000 food collected. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Extremely casual. Yep. And now they have to play potentially four more games. So, yep. Good stuff. That was sick. Here we are, game two. Cloud opened up the series with a crazy win, Dave. And before we even talk about how we need to play cross and this weird little wood wall Cloud has in the south. Yeah, <laughs> I, was what, I was just about to mention that too. That could actually be really inconvenient for him um, if he doesn't it's know about it. It's either good or it's bad. We'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess after we talk about that, I, I do just want to go back to your point that losing that first game has got to feel horrible for Fire right now. Mm -hmm. He needs to respond here. There's no way... He could lose that game and then lose this game and have any will to live left. Ay, ay, ay. But Japanese Lithuanians, um, six, seven months ago, I feel like it was more um, suited for Lithuanians because they had the better start. Now I feel like it's a pretty even matchup, at least in the early game. Uh, but I'm not sure what you think. Um, I think Japanese are a little bit better until like mid castleage yep and then the lithuanian lithuanians start taking over mm -hmm. and definitely i'd rather have the lithuanians in, in imperial age than the japanese for yeah, sure agreed they just have more options i also think that we have seen a lot of players play japanese incorrectly uh too many players are not trying to use the flexibility of the japanese to apply early pressure on land and they're just kind of walling mm. and playing water in those instances, then, if, if that's how you're going to play it with Japanese, I would say, well, might as well pick, you know, another civilization, or I prefer the Lithuanians. But interesting from Cloud, he's actually getting Loom, which I don't know if he planned for this or if he just didn't have the food because he went to wood so early. I think he was playing old Lithuanians. Built. Yeah, yep. <laughs> and then he is forced to get Loom, or... You know what? It could just be a safety thing, a comfort thing, right? I'm sending my vill all the way over there. I don't want to mess around with it. I am just going to get loom, and I'll be fine. Yeah, and if Fire scouts that villager and the villager's not walled in, he might instinctively fight it. And if yeah. he's doing that in Dark Age, that he won't be able to kill the vill and he'll lose some scout HP. Yeah, we'll see. Never know. Cloud is uh, discovering that Fire is not on the pond over on the side, and I'm I'm actually quite glad that Cloud isn't screwing around with pushing in deer agreed players just love pushing in deer nowadays even on a map like cross or uh four lakes or whatever you call it and it feels like if you find the villager early it gives you so much information and there's a potential that you could snipe that villager before the dock is up and yep. that's absolutely tragic for your opponent right yeah i agree with you i i prefer the scouting intel i do think if you're trying to go man at arms or if you're naturally a greedy player, which I think mm -hmm. fire might be both fall into both categories, then maybe you need the extra food. Um, but if you don't have the scouting intel on where to go with man at arms or where to pressure, could be a concern. I don't know if fire will do that. Normally you're sending more villagers to wood soon. Six on wood's pretty decent though, and Cloud's gonna find his dock in the north. But yeah, I saw a game on Scandi in like, second round. Um, it's not going to surprise you when I say the player names, but it was Tamate versus Bloodless. And Tamate didn't push any deer on Scandi. He's just like, I'm going to mill it later. And he's scouting everything, right? 
Bloodless mm-hmm. pushed in every single one of his deer to go fast feudal on a map with three boars. And I was just so annoyed. I was like, ah, what are you doing? And then, of course, surprised by man at arms, surprised by opponent's dock. Like, <laughs> but I mean, it's bloodless, right? He, he does prefer the more greedy style. So, is he an arena clown? Yeah, he's an arena guy. So it made yeah. sense. It was really right, cool so... to see him play and, and John Slow play. Like, John Slow beating uh, TK and then getting a win off of Jibitong was really cool to see. It is it is hilarious to me that the win he got off Jibitong was on Ghost Lake. I know. It wasn't even on Arena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, or he Fortress. Had, he had Turks. I think he had Turks against Aztecs or Turks against Incas or something, right? Yep. And, like, Turks are just the best arena. Like, generally the best arena civ. And... I only caught the end of the game where he resigned and his face, he was kind of like, oh, that was, yeah. <laughs> I okay. won Ghost Lake and then I lose on Arena. God damn. Barrick's here for uh, Cloud, so he's going Men at Arms, I think. Fire Scout has checked the pond in the south. If Fire doesn't see this Barracks, I don't think he's going to prep any walls and he could get massacred by Men This at Arms. is the problem with pushing your deer, yep. dude. Like, he's probably going to go to the effort of sending a fishing ship over to the corner to scout to make sure there's no, like, dock contest or anything. Look at Cloud, though. He's sending the bill already. And, like, why why is Fire going to the... Why is he going to the dock or the pond on the right side with a scout? What is, what is That's a very on? good point. Yep. Very good point. So we disagree with the scouting here from Fire. Now, he is Japanese, so if he gets hit on water, his fishing ships could stay alive. But still, you then have to invest into defending it. And Cloud's like, I, I just love Cloud and how he's played this series so far. It's just so interesting. He's got a villager in the middle, a villager in the north, mm -hmm. and then three militia. Fire's not going to see any of this. But Fire is going militia of his own. Ooh. So. Um, interesting. And, and they're Japanese militia. So yeah. Fire is going to have enough forces to defend it. I think the reason Fire went right, by the way, is because there's a neutral five tile stone on this map. And he thought that was the stone from Cloud, probably. Oh, maybe. I don't think it's supposed to be five. I think there, it's... No, there's another neutral five tile. Oh, there is the another right five. Okay. Too. I was yeah, wondering yeah, that, if it that's was That's what combined. I was checking out before. Oh, here, hey, come, here comes the, the militia. Soon to be man-at-arms. And Fire has to abandon his woodline. Good move from and him to just leave. He's going forward with his. He is going forward with his. That's the right play Stole here. Stole two sheep. He's coming back. And yeah, he's leaving with the vills. He's not going to lose any vills, I think. And the tower from Cloud... Well, the tower is <laughs> going to be cutting that off, but it can't range any villagers. It would be funny to me if the tower doesn't range the lumber camp and fire, like, I don't know, 10 minutes from now, goes back to that wood line and he's like, huh? <laughs> Why is there a tower there? Fire did spot the dock in the north, too. So he went for a second dock. Okay. And he's going to be able to push that away. And he also walled so the man at arms can't get through. That's good work from fire. Cloud has not, he did not scout the fact that his opponent's going for man at arms. Actually, no, I lied. He did see the flag on the barracks. So he should know something's coming, but it doesn't look like he himself has actually noticed it. He's going into a range. Oh, God. Fire's the villagers. What's happening? Coming in here. Oh, God. Fire's villagers are missing in action. I don't know what's going on with them. He's yep. going to lose one at least. He got really distracted because he was trying to kill the dock bill from Cloud. This is why people love this map, guys. Look at how many things are happening right now. It is so difficult to play. But advantage cloud sort of kind of right now. And I think the main reason I say that is because he has an archer range already. So he can go into archers and fire doesn't have his range up yet. Oh my god, dude. Ridiculous. I think if you're cloud, that villager that built the tower, go to the right. Make a dock there. Mm -hmm. And start make to fish. Yep. Yep. And um, honestly, from there, just, just kind of focus on stabilizing on land with archers and skirms. He, all easier said than done. What a crazy game here. And Cloud with, fire with his house walling and the men at arms are not going to do too much more for fire right now. Yeah, he got a little bit ambitious with those. They're still going to attack the house there, so maybe force out some repairs. But the archer's just coming back to deal with those. And the men at arms from Cloud are still posing a threat on the gold from fire. Mm -hmm. And fire has his archer range in a very weird position long term. But, um, I mean, I guess... The archers are going to come out. Fire's not really making use of it, but it is important that he did save his scout. So he still has that. 
Um, so mm -hmm. if he's able to scout some anything of value in the future, the fact that he saved that scout by pulling the scout towards his fire when everything else was happening at the same time, that's a pretty big deal here. But dude, Cloud came to play. Like, Cloud is delivering. He's playing amazing Age of Empires. His scouting's on point. His strategy's on point. I'm not seeing any nerves. I'm not really seeing any mistimings on upgrades or anything. He does have less eco than fire. Yeah. Um, and he, he didn't really add that many fishing ships, right? And he's idling his TC a little bit more than fire as well. Yeah, that's true. So fire is kind of recovering here as Cloud still has his scout alive. Oh, oh, oh. Right side, you could tell what happened there with Cloud's Vill. He set it under mm -hmm. the fish and he didn't have the wood for the dock and the villagers on the way home. And that might wander all the way home. And now he's got 400 wood. <laughs> yep. Uh oh. Which just feels terrible. Yeah, and the man at arms kind of engage for both players in the middle, but fires micros look pretty good. But that's skirm. There goes the Ville back to the right side for Cloud. Rest collected is uh five hundred more for fire right now. Crazy fire stuff. lost the fire ship in his pawn. He's got another one on the way, but so does Cloud. So Cloud's kind of taking out the fish from fire. He's also going for that dock on the right, like you said. Oh my goodness, dude. I, I don't know. There's a lot to focus on early yeah. game here. But but a big thing is fire, he must know that Cloud has docked the left side because he had scouted the south and didn't see anything. So as mm -hmm. everything else is happening and fire has to leave the other gold he moved to, if fire gets a dock down there, he might kill all those fishing ships. Fire him. He's Japanese, so his fishing ships haven't gone down at all. He's going to lose one after I say that, of course. But he's still overall quite fine, I think. And what a game. This is awesome. But let's see if Cloud can defend from this little counterattack Fire has. Bro, this tower from Cloud is so annoying. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so frustrating. It wouldn't be so bad if after the villagers were hit, they'd go back to work automatically. But the fact that they don't means that there's going to be a lot of idle time there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doc has been spotted uh, on the left pond, but yeah. I don't know if he realized it. This guy is just going for that fish. <laughs> Hard committing to that sure fish in the corner. <laughs> this, this is funny. I think Cloud's more focused on his skirms than anything right now. Yeah. And like, you have fire? As fire gets double bid axe, Cloud doesn't even have it. And fire, if he could add scouts right now, would be pretty good against the skirms. Could I mean, work quite well. I think fire could just go up here. I don't really sense a threat from any of Cloud's army currently. Yeah, maybe. You know it's just skirms right now. He's holding these in the corner. Like, if fire just goes for a market and <laughs> gets some food, he could go up, but he's going for that stable. <laughs> Look at fire try and sneak these two archers in the south. <laughs> Cloud's, like, where, bro. Cloud's like, oh, fire, wall. <laughs> Fire's like, any second now, I'll find the path through the woods. Any second now, surely this isn't. Oh, it's uh, a big wood line. And Cloud's trying to find it, too. Cloud's got a big army right now. Fire can't go up. Fire's in trouble on land. He needs something. He's, well, he's got a stable. And there he's we go. some scouts now. Yeah. Look at all the villagers that built that stable, though. Eight villagers. Like, that tells you this economy is not being clean, and he's going to drop a market. But, I mean, the wood line's forward. The gold is forward right now. Cloud also has archers in the mix with his skirm, so one scout's he's, not going to make a he's, difference. He's got one archer, Tristan. Well, there's there's four archers on the field. That's, that's what I saw. I didn't notice <laughs> I didn't notice that he had more like, archers behind. He said, like, he's got a big army coming forward. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. It's like... It's big enough, all right? Multiple weak skirms with a singular archer. <laughs> The point is, is the scouts for fire might not be enough, and Cloud is all over fire's wood line. He's getting the armor. If he gets a second scout, he can clear this. Yeah. Right? There's still archers at home from Cloud. Cloud's resources looking like he could go up to Castle Age. He'll see the stable. He'll be happy to know that fire hasn't clicked up to Castle Age, and he will probably think about clicking up himself then. And it's... There's more fishing ships for fire at the moment. But the KD's 20 to 20. Pretty close there. I don't think Cloud will struggle too much against the scouts, and Cloud will be in Castle Age faster, I think. Fire's I think. gonna be fishing from two docks here, I think. Cloud still has but he's still adding fish on the right, so Yeah. Look at Cloud. He's tried to kill both the sneak villagers from fire. This is amazing. Cloud is playing out of his mind. Yep. Cloud is playing incredible. Really nice stuff. He's gonna kill this final sneak villain, I think. Wow. Yep. 
He yeah. did kill the scouts in the center, too. Yep, and he's up, but fire is too. What a game. KD's still super even, but look at look at Fire's base and look at Cloud's base right now. If anyone gets knights into the other person's eco, villagers will die. I mean, Cloud's base, at least you can see where he would wall. Panic yeah, wall. yeah, that's true. That's Fire's true. panic walls are going to be like extreme panic. Yeah. He's got a mining camp exposed. Now he has to run with those vills. He's got a random tower near the forward wood line that he's taking because he can't take the back wood line because it's towered. Ugh. It's just, it's ugly. And, and oh no, he's sending his vills over here and Cloud is going in this direction. Yeah, Cloud. I don't know why Cloud is going in this he direction. He vision from he the is. tower. He saw the villagers move because of the oh. vision from the tower. And he's also on the gold at the same time. He will That's lose sick. his units on the gold, but that tower paid off big time there. Dang, that's so good. And honestly, leave the two spearmen to chase that vill, and then use the range units for the others. Yep, that's the right play from Cloud. And we know which Civ we prefer if we're talking knights long term, right? It's definitely yeah. the Lithuanians. But uh, that would be with relics and with the game going late. It may not go late. We'll see. I think with these skirms here and the archers and stuff, hmm, it's, uh, I don't know. There's skirms now from fire. I was going to say you could maybe think about like adding double monastery here as Japanese. Yeah. I think, I mean, both players but... need one at the very least, I think. Yeah. You need to have monks. And res collected fires 200 ahead. That's nothing. Yeah. Wow. If such a, such a good game. Fire is going to be able to make a castle so if he takes a really good fight he could drop a castle forward but i don't know if a defensive castle necessarily feels great i, I feel like if you I mine mean, all that stone you want it offensive latest are kind of crazy so anywhere you get the castle it's well no i mean fire part of your eco and... fire oh, the... oh fire sorry, sorry yeah sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry. it's all good misheard. you make fun of me because i misjudge a couple archers you say that i mean that, dude uh, latest... samurai are kind of samurai are kind of insane <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cloud's little ranged army is going to get pushed back. The, the one individual knight from Cloud isn't able to get the job done. So he has to fall back. Cloud does have a monk coming out at home. Fire's got a monk coming out at home. What a game, dude. What a game. Mm -hmm. This game is amazing. Neither Cloud's player has bloodlines, which is a pretty big upgrade to get here. But Cloud's actually keeping his knights producing. Fire is not. Like, yeah. Fire has five knights right now. Maybe he just doesn't want to go into it long term. And that's why Bloodlines is coming in for him. Forging's coming in for Cloud. He can get some relics, too. If he manages to save this monk, it looks like Fire's looking for that guy. Cloud, last I ran into him, I haven't really looked at the ladders. Like, 2k2. Fire's 2k5 if, if the rankings on the ladder means anything to you guys. But Cloud clearly came to play. And uh, I will say for Fire's rank, he plays at a time where like no one else is playing. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. I think his win rate percentage is the highest of all the players at the top of the ladder. Yeah, I think he it's does like seventy six or seventy seven percent. It's consistently been like that. Yeah, but I mean, you know, even to take it you know, one step further too, in terms He's of still Fire, really good though. Like you know, former yeah. top ten player, right? Like since yep. twenty thirteen, so. I love what Fire just did there with that scout. He's going to kill that monk from Cloud. That's so good. And also engagements in the middle. Cloud trying to kill the monk from Fire with his leftover Feudal Age army. He won't get it, but he's got 10 he's knights. He's going to get the relic, though. Yeah, and yeah. He, sh he should get the relic. And he's, he's dropping the second TC right now. Fire's found his fish. He's taking him out. Ooh, good find from Fire. Yep. Fire's also and... fish trapping preemptively in the north, too. I would forget yeah, yeah. in these moments. That's really good. These are okay. They're, oh my god, the fish traps the other day, bro. The fish traps the other day had I, me I'm going. I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot we were, we were talking about the placement of the fish traps here. Yeah. Oh Dude, man, we we had some legitimately terrible, like the Jibatong fish trap. Oh my god, I would have just deleted them. Dude, fire's waiting on this hill. If Cloud goes to the left and goes to fire's base, he wins the game. If he runs up that hill and loses a bunch of these knights to conversions, he could lose the game. Fire's base is still so freaking exposed right now. Mm -hmm. This is crazy, knight, but Cloud's so fixated just like, on the relics. Just like two knights in the back on that gold yeah. would cause so much havoc. Yeah. That would be unbelievable. 
And the knights are coming forward, and that monk, like we said, oh. the woodline kind of screws him over, but the monks are super exposed from fire. Fire, don't and the convert. Knights there. Don't see them. Yeah, now you convert. Now you have to convert. And now you have to kill those monks if you're cloud. Oh, big oh, moment. He needs luck. He needs luck. He needs luck. He needs luck. He gets all four, dude. He gets four. He, he got finishes. it. He's winning the fight. Cloud should not fight here. The clouds made all the difference. The clouds. The monks made all the difference for cloud and for fire. There's fire, there's clouds, there's knights, there's monks. There's a monk here from Cloud, which he misclicked. The knights are still doing okay from Cloud because he's got the extra attack, I suppose. Oh my god. What a swing. But and now damn, there's 12 dude. knights for fire. There's three knights for clouds. He was so fixated on the relic. If he would have just moved out, fire would have had nothing at home. And fire might take this game now. Dude, he got four conversions in, like, minimum time there. Yeah, it was really Right good. as those knights came in. That was crazy. And the knights that he converted have all that additional attack that he didn't really have to work for, right? Yeah. And, you know, this is going to be a fight Fire will take for now just to allow himself to control the game in other ways. Fire has had tons of fishing ships working. And he just took Cloud off of gold, so he's happy with that. Fire saves a very weak knight. And in the process, converts a full HP one. Cloud's still in this, but I think here, Dave, is where you need like a slight counterattack. Like fall back. Yeah, yes, stabilize, but a slight counterattack just to distract fire could be really nice. Just two or three knights into the back. Yeah. But it's so it's hard. Enough. Like you feel like you're <laughs> you're gonna lose the game if you don't defend yourself here. So it's really hard to do that. Yeah, it's it's almost impossible to do that. And fire has found the answer to these knights, and that's just monks. But Cloud's going to kill them before they get conversions this time. Well played. Just taking some bad fights here, though, against the amount of knights that Fire has. Fire has so many. He's trying to escape, too, but the pathing is just so bad right now. He's trying to heal up his knights. Fudiko has been idled for a very long time. This is the part where you send, like, two or three knights yep. into the back. Agreed. Yep, and forget about that relic. Fire could... I think both players could really use some outposts. Cloud also building up towards a castle here. The score is indicating that maybe Cloud is further behind than he really is right now. Did he lose... I think Cloud lost a monk going for the relic in, in the uh, west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the see the, I see the... Uh, I don't know what that the is, but that's probably yeah part of his robe. His Cloud house. is still not going forward. He's sending one knight only. But it still cause a lot of problems yeah. on that gold if he goes back yeah, there. Let's go right to the main golds. And that might give him the idea to do more of this in the future. Yep. If Fire has to move 20 villagers because one knight goes into his eco. And as he looks to attack, Cloud is all healed up and ready to go. And Cloud can take that fight. Did delete the knight after killing the villager in Fire's base. I don't know oh, I... two, three of those knights are on stand ground, not taking the fight. Oh, God, now he has to retreat. Okay, big moment, though. If if Fire gets caught out here on the right side as he tries to attack, Cloud could be okay. Well, wow, Fire has to if leave. Cloud, if Cloud ever wins a big fight, I'm looking at his stone count right now. If he wins a convincing fight and has army to come forward, this could get really ugly really quickly. He has more knights than Fire now. So the monks yeah. getting conversions are, again, really important, and... As Fire's thinking about pikemen, which makes sense as Japanese. Yep, that's it. Uh, that's the castle that I was envisioning <laughs> right there. That's it. Is Cloud just going to let those knights from Fire raid his eco on the left side and he's going to go forward here? Oh, my God. He's sending the barn. Pikemen's going to be in in 30 barn. seconds. He, if he fights this right now, he could snowball it. But he's Fire's ready. Fire's ready. He's going to get conversions. I think fire's okay. You have some healing from leftover monks. You didn't get the conversions in time this time. You have you spears. One, I think. You have more knights in the group. There's monks on the way from Cloud. Cloud needs every conversion he can here. Fire's going to have closer reinforcements as well. Fire's got happening. knights on the left still. I don't think this will happen for Cloud. No. Wow. GG. What a great game. <laughs> Oh, man. Look at the amount of knights created, though, right? Yeah. Uh, Fire getting the conversions when he did was just so huge here. And, uh, well, that, you know, I, it was... I have to go back and look at that. I think that was just four conversions instantaneously. Well, they, I don't. I think there were probably one after another. What time was that? I'll go back. 
Um, it was like uh, 20 30 something. Oh. No, I'm wrong. I... 31, 25. Okay. Honestly, if you scout the opponent has that many monks to go like have in that position, I think you win the game. No, but dude, he just I think they were simply didn't know. He... He targeted them separately, but they all converted at, like, the same moment. Yeah, I'm going to look now here. Because at that point, it's 16 nice versus 10. Fire was getting plus 2 armor, though. Uh, okay, so he starts Hold with up. 1, 2, 3, 4. He got all 4. Yeah, that was crazy. I wonder what happens if Cloud leaves the fight there, too. I think staying in the fight was just a result of him thinking that he had, you know, the better knights. But I think staying in that fight didn't help Cloud there at all. Yeah. What a ridiculous game, though. Fire needed that. Series is tied up 1-1. This series has been amazing. Both players are playing really good. Um, total conversions in the game. I don't even know where to look for nine. that. It's military, military, right? Yeah, 8-6 to six for Fire, which doesn't eight, make it yeah. seem like it was much, but he took better value engagements in Castle Age. Got the job done with Japanese. And there you go. First sip pick, gone from Cloud. Yep. Here we are, game three. And we have the Britons for Cloud. And we've got the Gurjaras for Fire. Ooh, interesting. Gurjaras against Britons on this map? Okay. Yeah, seriously. All right. In weird. So kind of? Fire, I think, is going for a comfort pick because he went Gurjaras against Portuguese when mm -hmm. he played against Blackheart in the previous round. Um. I think it was just one of those things where clearly there was a level difference between the two of them and fire made it messy and raided the sides. But I'm going to be honest, dude. I do not see how Gurjaras win this matchup. They should not win this matchup. How Arbalest? I think Gurjaras have no answer to that, right? Gurjaras have a better monk tech tree. Okay. If there's you're going to grab the relics. And, and they have Shervamshas to get in the back yeah. as well. Um, But... Yeah, if if things develop where they're both booming and then you're talking late game, Britain should win, right? But yeah. the difference between this and Arena is that it's open on three different fronts. There's the middle front, the top, and the bottom. And usually when the map is more open, it provides more opportunities for a Civ like Ajara's over a Civ like Britain's because you want all your army in one spot as Britain's generally. Yep. And, that's, and that's what Fire is going to have to try and do. Uh, that's also basically what he did when he was Gurjaras against Portuguese, because even there he was mm -hmm. up against Halvin Arbalest. You could do elephant archers too. They're okay. Yeah, especially when you, you get a, a nice little snowball with skirmishers mm -hmm. or something, you can just mix in some elephant archers to hold the position. So I think like, so what we saw yesterday from Kazva, which was a super entertaining game against Ozone. Unfortunately, Ozone was we talked about it. It, thinks like, it feels like he was a bit nervous. Yeah, there. I think his brain his brain melted at one point and everything fell apart. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, he went into overheat mode. But Kazva tried to do the forward on this map with the Aztecs. And he got the tower down and he went men at arms and everything. And Ozone just did the thing that you do when you get forwarded at the back, even though you're open back there. You just go to the middle. Yep. Right? And all their army has to go all the way around to reach you. Kazva still pressured him on the middle. But he had enough time to get to Castle Age. And if he had made some maybe d different decisions, he would have been fine. If someone tries to go for that approach here, I think these guys are good enough that they'll be able to recover on the middle and it won't be that much damage done by either Gajaras or Britons at the back. What about minimal investment? Especially because they're actually rather close if they take the north. They don't know that, though, so they have to assume they're far away, but... If you go minimal investment, just go for 20 pop scouts. You could still use those scouts for relic control later. I wonder if that's achievable here. Because, again, just fast castling against the Britons when the Britons can place their cheap TCs and you know they're just going to get a lead on you. So, like, I don't know if I what's like the that. difference between that and going, clicking castle age and then adding the scouts? Well, the, different, the difference is the timing. And you can deny walls and potentially disrupt their builds. And the, the other main difference is when you make it to castle off the scout build, you could go four TCs and have the food to produce builds. Whereas if you go for the normal builds, it might be a bit tougher to, to get eco upgrades and whatnot. 
I'm just wondering if like denying walls is good enough for that because like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the the golds on this map are so close to the TC. Mm -hmm. You're never killing villagers or denying the gold with scouts on this. It's just simply not going to happen, right? Yeah. Usually the berries are really close to the TC too, and it's easier to wall to that TC. So like a lot of the times it feels like you'd just be running around in this area behind with your scouts. I guess you get a ton of exploration, you know where, where all the relics are and they can help you later, but you're very slow. Yeah, I think what's also influencing my excitement around my idea is the fact that it is such a short path for them in the north. Mm -hmm. But they don't know that, mm -hmm. right? So Fire's going to assume that Cloud is positioned around where that relic and gold is outside of Cloud's walls. But, well, Cloud's going up. Hold, up, hold the phone. Cloud's going Cloud's up. Cloud's going to pressure. Yeah, he might pressure at the oh back. Oh, my God. Is maybe... he going to go Archer Tower build through the middle? Because it is 900 HP or, I guess, 1080 HP stone walls. Ooh. I think he goes tower archer play. Old school. He does. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Vinchester style. Dang. All right. Well, I mean, hey, we saw it. Game number one, unique build order. We haven't seen many players attempt it. It worked for Cloud. Game number two, Cloud has to play standard. He has to do the expected things. It got messy. Mm -hmm. He could have won, but he lost. So here he goes again. I just... I don't like this because I do not think this plays towards your Civ's strengths. I think just going fast castles superior. <laughs> um, but hey, maybe he he's practiced this. I mean, he surely practiced this. Fire's gonna be uh, so confused. No, no loom, by the way, for fire. He went up no loom, so no loom for cloud either. It, for what it, it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> but he's probably gonna get it soon. He does have a villager queued here, but. If the tower comes down with the archers and fire is trying to just wall behind it, he might run into some problems here. Yeah, I think he's going to get to Feudal Age in time to get Loom. But then having to get Loom is going to stall at his you. Castle Age. He knows something's up. He sees the Feudal Age time and he knows something's up, so he's making the barracks. Yeah, th this is good adaptation from fire without even seeing it. I wonder if he gets greedy, though. I wonder if he tries to go up because he sees he's going to have 200 gold exactly. I think you if can. I think you just house wall. Loom. I think you just house wall it out and go up anyways. Without loom though. Well, oh, 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 oh no, you want to get loom for sure. Yeah, but that then you're waiting longer because you only have 200 gold. Yeah, it's true. I think if he gets put loom an now, he might be here. okay. <laughs> yeah. What he's what he's really gonna try and be greedy with is this market location. You know he wants it to the right of the barracks, between the barracks mm. and the house. There's going to be archers inside of this tower. Okay, it's loomable now. He's got 250. It's definitely loomable. He's going for a stable. You need what if loom, he forgets dude. loom? <laughs> Wait, he's going to forget it. Oh, no. <laughs> you need loom, my brother. He's going to make a maze so Cloud has to slalom into his Don't base. make another villager. Make loom. Do loom, please. Also, uh, something that's, that we should mention is Fire actually ate all the sheep, which is, seems to be new meta. And okay, he's got loom in queue. Okay. What if Cloud takes out the stable? Make a tower and then attack the stable with your bills. Is that too long? Mm, it's forever, though. Huh. Okay. So Fire uh, did a full circle with his scout, for what it's worth. Doesn't have any vision in the middle. Behind this, Cloud doesn't have a single farm. <laughs> it's going to take him some time to reach Castle Age, but he's hoping that he can hold the middle. Everyone's always felt like the middle is more important on this map. He doesn't know if the gold's there for fire, but he will if he outposts, and he absolutely should the second he's through here. And if fire goes for... Uh, gold. D just switch the tower location, Cloud. You should be towering the gold. I think the berries are fine, dude. Okay, that's fine. I don't think, like... Yeah, I think it's fine. If fire goes for that tower, which he has now, which mm -hmm. can be ranged by the archers, if Cloud just keeps him on stand ground right there. Yep. Stand ground, please. Stand, stand ground. Stand, Dude, he's just stressing stand, me out just, here. Stand, just stand <laughs> your ground. He's stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you make another tower now that ranges the gold, and yeah, you just put your archers inside the the tower that please you just built. Please don't lose that archer. Thank you. And he can't range the second one, so you're laughing. You got archers inside of that instead of vills, so fire's that only more of his eco. And like I was going to say, if fire goes for that tower, which he did, he won't he have enough TC. stone for another TC. So he's going to have to... He's building a market now, and he's going to have to go for, like, 
a siege workshop to push this back, which I is like, just ugly. I like the game sense from fire to realize I need the market. I, I, let's yeah. not balance this. Like that is gonna take too much time. Honestly, think he should have gone for the market instead of the stable there. I don't. I don't think what the. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what yeah. the stable is really giving you. Yeah. If he could make Shravamshas in Feudal, like he can with oh Camels, then maybe that'd be something, but... He's selling everything to get a couple Shravamshas and well, well, a Siege Workshop. Well, I mean, he's going to shoot. There's only going to be two towers. Cloud's being stubborn. He saves the Vils. Oh, my God. He's bringing the other Vils over to repair. Oh, God. Stress, stressful times for Cloud. Archers are out now. Vils are repairing. Archers need to go back in the tower. The Vils need to go back in the tower. He's done such a good job so far, dude. This is this is old school experience here. This is back from the tower rush days. Yeah. Some players are so good at this. It's disgusting. Yeah. And dude, he knows there's something in that stable too. And he still yeah. had to do all of this. And he's got to shoot the tower down. How does he do this? Okay, real quick. It's probably too late, but actually, from what we know, the best play mm -hmm. for fire would have been Shravamsha's two clouds economy around the outside, yep. not going to, through the middle. Yep, but they're in the middle, and he's not really going to find anything. Yeah. He's going to find a gate. Yeah. And and cloud, notice Cloud I mean, is like, I'm walling up, baby. We're walling with six bills. That is where I'm vulnerable. <laughs> I love Cloud so much. So good. Uh. But also, we're looking at Cloud's eco, and we're thinking, this is not going up no. to castle no it's not <laughs> it's not I mean, maybe you can sell all the stone and buy some food it'll make a make it look a little bit better but but i, I mean i think he's he's turned it into a game fire wasn't expecting and fire's definitely mm -hmm. made some mistakes here that going for a scorpion that's never going to help you against the towers that just stops cloud from taking out your stable what is that extra tower back there I, like i don't I don't get that from Cloud. He doesn't. He doesn't I mean, want to give he up. He really gold. wants to cut off that gold, but there's yeah. gold on the outside that Fire can take, and you're not out there. That's How many exactly players do you see group right their spearmen and their starting scout together like Cloud is right now? Nobody does that. <laughs> Cloud. No. Uh, it's good though. It's good. It was, we assume he's paying attention, and he is. And there's the Manganel, but two towers garrison fully with archers could be problematic. I guess for that that's mango. the plan. Yeah, I guess that's but, the plan. But they're not the fully garrisoned tower. because the tower on the right. There we go. That's the one that has the archers. Oh, this Manganel might go down really quick. Fire, you got to get this thing out of here. Oh, oh no, fire! Run! Escape. Oh my run! God, run! It's oh important. my God. <laughs> Give me anxiety, man. In the meantime, he's hunting down the Shravamshas. The Shravamshas went down. Yeah. Okay. Oh, two double Manganel. Oh, but, Fire's going to lose at least one of these. I know it. Well, as long as he has the wood and gold to repair, he should be okay. Those towers... Th this this strategy got nuked once towers lost HP in, in Feudal. And yeah, 850 HP is not enough. Uh, Two Manganel's enough Manganel, to take it out. Manganel. Still, it's a big investment from Fire. Cloud is. is now on the way to Castle Age. And Fire has no wood, barely any gold, barely mm -hmm. any food. Okay, this is going to get fun. That Manganel might go down. That Manganel might go down. No, it's staying alive. This is going to get fun because Fire's going to have to try and rewall his base before even scouts come out right now. Yeah. Because scouts could push the uh, the, the Manganels away. And Cloud still has cheap TCs when he makes it to the next stage. So he could mm -hmm. boom up at home. Or he could continue to apply pressure all the time. That's why it's very difficult to play from Fire's current position. But I think or we have to say just... he has played really well. Uh, yeah, Cloud could it. also grab the relics in the center here for free, yep. essentially, essentially. Like, it's really, really nice. Look Scorpion's going to go down, maybe. No, the camel chases away the scout, but the camel might go down here. No, the camel stays alive and the scout dies. Yep. Oh, fiery walls. That's sick. Nice the Widgers, defense. The Widgers from Cloud, are they going to stay there? Because Fire could leave his base. I would have I run. You want to, right? Well, just so you chilling. get a monastery to heal up your camel or Cloud's another like, camel. Cloud's like, I dare you. <laughs> Leave your base. I freaking dare you, dude. Do we see longbows here from Cloud? Does he go for a forward castle? There's so much gold there. I think he should scout the other side. He scouted the one side of Fire's base. He saw the gold that Fire wasn't on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should scout the other one. Also, Shravamsha going around in the north for fire. And there is a hole for Cloud in his wall that he made to bring a scout through. 
Monastery is the choice for Cloud in the middle. Mm -hmm. Odd Canero, can which affects the archers. TCs or a castle. Cheap TCs 500. it is. Okay, goes for the TCs. Smart, probably. This game's so punishing, man. You do everything so great, and then you leave one tiny little hole in your wall, and that Trevamps is going to ruin your day. Mm -hmm. That's going to hurt. It's got a scout. Actually, Fire nope. isn't paying attention to it. Cloud isn't the paying attention the, to the it. The hole was for the scout. Don't worry about it. He's, <laughs> he's scouting on the other side, too. Now, do you think that uh, Cloud... That Campbell is one hit away. Yeah, he notices yeah, he it. He gets it. <laughs> Uh, and the Shervam shows in. The shows in on the wood line. It doesn't even get die. a kill. Yeah. Wow. So do you, do you think that Cloud should TC in the center? No. Like on no, the wood no, line no, in no. the center? Wait, wait, wait. You mean like the center like on the wood line in the, line the stone. stones? Oh. Yeah. Like on the wood line. Um, like instead of exposing himself to the raids on the outside. Yeah. If yeah, you get it's... a castle up in the middle, it could be good. But I mean, there is a Mangonel pushing you and you have archers right now. So you're probably going to need to run from this. A monk, I think, or a knight could be really good here for Cloud. I think he needs uh, he needs crossbow right now. Yeah, it would scare yep, fire a lot in. more. And yeah, there's crossbow. Um, to answer your question, I think that can be good. Yeah, he clearly wants to push in the middle with the castle though. So wow, he's actually going to drop the castle to hold that position. I guess that's also like at least you know you can get this castle up. Whereas if you were to wait and hope that you can get the forward one, that might end up being denied. Oh, Fire's taking some big risks with the siege out there. Just yeah. two Shervamshas, not even yeah. camels to support it. Like, what happens if a knight comes along? Yeah, it, one night. It's just wild one because night. Cloud hasn't made a knight. You think he yeah, would? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I think he saw the camels and he's nervous about it. But Fire's camels are nowhere to be found. Yeah, Fire's camels if are on he... the left. Cloud did attack there with the scout and get a kill. Knights are gold. coming, dude. And it's only one camel. Yeah, there's Cloud... a monk here too. Cloud just stresses me out with his union movements. <laughs> just he back does. away for a second. I think Cloud is like, he's obviously a perfect player for this game because his strategy is so good. But he definitely lacks APM. He's very much like Doubt. And I think he's the same age as Doubt. Like, I think they're both like mid to late 30s and have been around a really long time. Doubt's obviously achieved a whole lot more, but because he's not the speediest sometimes you you can tell he's just not looking at his army as much but he always seems to find it at the right moment yeah you were you were saying that and you were looking at it uh-huh and i was worried <laughs> <laughs> i was worried doing the same thing oh god they're the knights he always finds it at the right moments boom <laughs> wow he's the monk the timing Mangadel. for fire is fantastic it's just it's such a random spot to be with your mangonels, yeah. right? Like, you're always going to lose those. If he just makes a couple knights, that's what happened. Yeah, all the siege will go down. The monk can't move out from fire. Cloud can now shift to longbows, which is really exciting for everyone, except for fire. And now, how are you supposed to stop the Britons with the Gurjaras if they've got longbows and castle drops up the middle of this base? You have to raid the outside somehow, I think. Mm-hmm. Cloud's got a TC in the center. Cloud gets another castle here in the center. He could just focus all of his eco here. Yeah. Three TCs. There are the camels. camels are working away near yeah. the wood line. They could kill quite a few villagers if they get in there. He's adding petards, Dave. He's focused on the petards so he can break through. Oof. I, I think there's it could be a little awkward to micro this group right now if you have that skirm in your in your control group. I think it's separate, actually, now that I say that. Oh, Manganel versus Longbows always loses, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> always. Camels are in. Oh, line. God. Oh, That's God. so annoying. There's no military back oh, here. Oh, no, no Cloud. I can't oh, even no. judge because this happened to me in my set against Nilly. <laughs> Come on. Get it. Cloud. Oh, no. I mean, he's got a micro so much on the front right now. He might not notice this. Yep. I don't even know if Fire knows, to be honest with you. Also, Shervanch oh! is trying to come into that eco, too. He does notice it finally. He's going to yeah. pull everything back. He sees the overchop. He was microing against a Mangonel at the same time through a one-tile gap in the wall. So we can forgive him for being a little bit distracted. Yeah, this Shervanch is... And the is... coming back. The Shervanch is actually notified. Petard versus Mangonel! Go, 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 go! No, don't lose it to a conversion! Go! Oh! Oh, let's go, baby! <laughs> <laughs> what is this, dude? I am 
I am so... I, I'm like the biggest Cloud fan there is right now. I've always loved the dude, but he's playing so fun. He's just so old school with everything he does. Yes. It's great. He had that petard in his control group, by the way, when he was pushing in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And now he's healing up his crossbows and longbows from behind. Yeah. I like it. It's like, you're right, though. He he doesn't notice the units until the, the second he needs to notice the units. He's slow, and then he man. Pulls yeah. Them away, and he's, <laughs> he's on the way to imp. Yeah, he's just not that quick, but it's a lot of pressure. And he, he gets the positions in the game, which is yeah. what he did in the first game. And, and Fire has tried to raid a couple times. He's tried to expand his eco, but Fire is not even close to imp. But a big Racer shot could change the game. Here. Yeah. Fire could fire could go uh, oh. for Shavampshas here. He's got enough stone for a castle, but Trebs and Bracer, like, Cloud, you're just keep making, you're making me stone Dude, nervous. I don't trust him against three, okay? I just don't. <laughs> I do not trust Why not? Him. He's been fine up to this point. <laughs> He's lost, like, two units against Magnus. I know. Dude, it's just it he leaves it to the last second. It's stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> he's finally dealing with the camels, but he still doesn't plug the gap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's going. He's going out there. He's gonna do it. All right. Well, he's got four relics. Uh, none of the relics on the outside have been collected by anyone. And fire is getting plus two armor on this revamption, so he wants to fight before these units are upgraded. Yeah, four mangonels. When you see imp coming in, though, it's gonna feel really demoralizing because bracer. On these longbows, we'll just make those mangonels free. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But Cloud might have the confidence. Oh, oh Jesus! Geez. Oh my God! Okay, it's coming. Dave, this villager, this freaking lumberjack, is chopping a tree outside the walls. If the timing's bad here, he could be trying to drop off the wood, and he could, he could open that gate for fire. That's deletable. That villager. Uh, if more he's villagers are leaving. <laughs> it's deletable. <laughs> oh, oh God, Cloud, you're stressing me Cloud out. Okay, he sees it. Cloud sees all of this. He gets extra just range. Time. He's getting just bracer. He's getting ballistics. Yep. And he dude, sees fire just GGs. Sick. Wow, what a game. What a strategy. A strategy that I don't think he had to do, but we yeah. understand now why he did it. Fire was not able to boom. Fire was not able to... To really gain a foothold in this game at all and fire just tapped out because he knew all like his castle doesn't go up if it does go up it gets trebbed down and mm -hmm. even if the castle goes up that all that army he has it all dies now to the longbows really really nice i, I it's funny i understand what you mean I, w I was thinking kind of the same thing but when you when you said it i really started noticing it <laughs> Every single time, his micro is just like AI micro until he needs to move. Yep, yep. And then it's like right there, moving away from the Maganel shots. He just lets his units do his do their thing, I suppose. And he puts a lot, like it's similar with Doubt. They put a higher percentage of their time on the economy. Mm -hmm. And, yep. um, you know, it can lead to some bad moments here or there. But the economy is why he made it to Imp and why he won the game. Uh, his tower micro, though, to keep the towers up for a little bit longer was essential to him holding the middle. Um, the, even keeping his archers alive was helpful, right? So he could play into crossbowmen, the monk edition, everything was just so well timed from Cloud. I'm so excited. And again, I feel like this could go to five games because we know Fire's got Arabia next. And Fire's super comfortable there. So my expectation is that Fire is going to be able to respond. Here we are. And this is game number four. We'll see if Clouds can get the job done here with Franks. And move on to gold, which would be a big achievement for him. Or this see if fire Arabia can Sith? even it up. Byzantines? Okay. Byzantines for fire. But do you think it was Byzantines because Franks was too expected on Cloud's draft? Because I, were, I forget now, but I seem to recall knowing it was going to be Franks on Arabia for Cloud. Um, he had Incas and Bengalis. So it could have easily hmm. been Incas. Yeah, that's true. Could but have I think Byzantines actually, are I also good against Incas too, though. Yeah, true. So it's it's just either option, I guess, works out for fire. Yep. And I'm looking at, at fire's base right now, and it's actually a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. um, he's got that main wood line kind of blocking things off. He's got the back wood option, which is great. Back gold, and then back secondary stone, and back berries, too. So yeah. And close deer as well. So really nice layout here for fire. Cloud, not as fortunate, for sure. Front gold, front berries, front secondary gold. 
Yeah, I think the rough. wood lines are easier if it goes into mm. archers for Cloud. Like, it's he's less vulnerable, but uh, this is definitely going to be a scout opening, or at least it normally is for Franks and for Byzantines. They've got cheap spears to deal with that. If it's knights, then in castle from the Franks, they've got cheap camels. They have tons of yep. vision. Like, Byzantines could pretty much counter any Civ, but they're up against a one sided Civ here in Franks. So I like Fire's uh, potential to tie up the series. Dude, I just hope this game is as sick as the other games have been. Yeah. <laughs> Every single, all three games so far have been really, really crazy. Really good. Scrappy stuff, too. Probably won't be quite as long as the first game because I think if it goes that long, Byzantines would have would have won by the hour mark. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, absolutely. But I'll tell you what, like let's just say it it does get to Castle Age, it's even, and then Cloud has some map control. This area where Fire Scout is right now, you just know Cloud's gonna castle that. And that would be such oh, yeah. a crazy position to have. I mean, actually this both the stones for fire are forward. And on top of the hill there. So, you know, maybe some momentum with knights and just some castle drops could work. Could be the play. Alternatively, the golds for Cloud also underneath hills, stone underneath hills. There's just like a... Yeah, and a very fires golds are in the back. Yeah, you've got like a very large hill, which which uh, spans through the middle, which I really like because you I, I like it when players are fighting for map position, so... Mm -hmm. Also, you could, like, if we're, if we're really theorizers... If we're theorizing here. The, okay. The, being theoretical? Being theor no, theoreticists. <laughs> oh, oh, that's better. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> How dare you one-up me on that? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what we are. Um, if, if if this goes late game, like you said, Byzantines probably win, but even doubly so if, if Fire gets the castle set up across that hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sick, right? Like with the wood lines and everything, it's, it, it's a really, really nice setup. I think the way you open here, uh, and this is how majority of players used to open with any Civ that doesn't have an eco bonus, is mm -hmm. you you skip all militia strategies. So no food bonus, no wood savings bonus, cool. You're not going for militia in this game. You're going uh, archers, spearmen, skirmishers, whatever. So I think fire will just go uh, like 20 pop up and make a barracks and then adapt based on what he sees. And Cloud doesn't want to go scouts. Because he doesn't want to let Fire just assume that he's going scouts and go spearmen and get away with it. So Cloud's actually skipped the berries. And he's adding a barracks right now. So this could be the uh, the, the frush. The French drush. The new little two militia drush people are doing. New? Yeah, it's like new-ish relative Pretty old to the now, game. Yeah. yeah. Although I, I have noticed that the two militia drush has kind of... Well, it kind of, it definitely fell out of favor the later stages. It went in King of the Desert. I think just because the players got better. Yeah. And the better you are, it's easier to deal with just two militia, right? Agreed. Yeah. Um, it also doesn't really give you much versatility. Like, if you open scouts, you're set up to transition into a lot of different things. Yeah. Right? And it doesn't take much time. If you open with the two militia, you're basically forced into going for a range or just adding more militia and going men-at-arms. Fire's, you don't have much mobility or anything like that. Fire sees this, which was just huge. He just walked right into the barracks. And he might walk right into his sheep as well that were pretty far away from him. Yep. Okay, everything's going right for fire. But yeah, my take on the two militia thing, because I'm on the other side of it so frequently, is it's a skill separator. Like, mm -hmm. it's an instant skill separator. So if it's an archer matchup, the higher-ranked player um, can usually just have their way economically if they if they apply a bit of pressure i can't tell you how frustrating it is to be up against all these like french 2k2s doing this crap all the time so sato shout out to you for making people's life hell <laughs> mm -hmm. sato and his little minions yes <laughs> it's so frustrating but anyways oh dude cloud got to feudal age a little bit faster oh. and he had less hp and he absolutely nuked the scout from fire the fire knew it was coming yeah. And so it's weird to me that he saw Feudal Age. Don't lose your scout, Cloud. Thank you. But it's weird to me that he took the engagement. Good for Cloud, obviously, to scout the rest of the map, make some decisions based on that. And Fire's just going to assume wall Archers in, is the follow-up. Oh. oh, he had such an opportunity to masterpiece him there. Oh, was he between the house and the berries? Yeah. Okay, I missed that. Did you see Eli's trap in Kilimanjaro between the berries? Did you catch that? No, I didn't. 
<laughs> Dude, the berries are up against the edge of the map. And there's a one tile space between the berries and the, the edge. And in Dark Age, the scout goes through and he goes like, Palisade Gate. Boom, trapped it. It was really sick. <laughs> I like that sound you made. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You've been playing against those French people too often, dude. <laughs> uh, well, in terms of reds collected, should be pretty close. Franks have the edge with the berry bonus, but berries were just now mm. taken, so it's pretty much even. And even's not really what you want here as the Franks. You would much prefer to be ahead in some way, but fire has built up, so he can't fall behind. He's playing extremely safe. Mm-hmm. Castle Age, what are you thinking of with Franks? Because you, if you go into Knights, he's just going to spam camels, right? Yeah, yeah. As there's still two sheep there that Cloud hasn't found. Kind of wants to find those, maybe. Oh, true. Are you going into crossbows initially? Because your opponent's already on skirms. That doesn't feel good. Yeah. Are you just going into Knight and Monk? I or think what's like what's the play? I think it's less about your units and more about the timing of engagements. So if mm. you... Like, knights can still work really well if you engage against the spears before they're upgraded. Uh, total just passing moment from both players. I was just about to say, but <laughs> fire actually notices it. Um, so, yeah, I, honestly, it's just a lot of it's going to depend on how the engagements go. I think with the hill that Cloud sees, he might be tempted to try and take that and go for, like, Monk Siege. M mm. Like, one stable knights, maybe, and then Monk Siege. But he needs to get his walls down right now, and I think he will. Which is good for him because fire moving out then isn't really a problem. But lots of skirms in creation for Cloud. So, I mean, if you keep skirms alive, skirms can be helpful against pikemen and skirms can be helpful against monks. And they do... Skirms do more against camels than they do against knights. So, maybe skirm knight. But I think both players have pretty much played as, as good as one could expect here. For fire, obviously, a little sloppy to lose the scout. But I think Cloud, he doesn't, he's not really able to act on the scouting. And he's got to make a decision on what he does with his berries right now, actually. That's yeah. that's really annoying. It is. You definitely want that food income. At least with Franks, you don't have to invest in a horse scholar, so you can just drop down the farms, whatever. Yeah. It's really nice. And he, he's walled um to a point where he can access the back gold and i love the fact he's going to that gold mm -hmm. i see so many people even with a back gold like secondary there they'll still go to their main one yep just because it's habit right it's like muscle memory always go to your main gold but that's really safe back there he's kind of building up towards castle age he should hit castle age i think before fire if things keep up this way so he might get to those timings but once again it's just the byzantines have all the units the cheap ones to counter the stuff that Franks can make. Having said that, Fire hasn't killed a unit yet. He's only lost units. Um, so, you know, that combined with the fact that he has exposed units on the front right now is Wait, pretty good for Cloud. A... Cloud lost something to a wolf, I think. Yeah, I, I I noticed that as well when I was looking at the stats, but I don't know. It wasn't a villager, so it was probably just like a skirm or a spear yeah. or something. Which is sad, but he surprised fire here. And look how many spearmen he's killed. So suddenly knights is more realistic. The camels will still be an issue, and that's probably what fire will want to go for. Uh, but fire's adding scouts right now against a fully walled opponent. Whoa. I don't hate it if he just makes one, but I, I really don't think it's necessary, honestly. I mean, if he just makes one, he can scout the map, see where the relics are, and then that scout might be useful if your opponent's going into monks later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloud's going to find those sheep. One sheep. JK. <laughs> He's like, what? Did I leave that here? <laughs> what happened? Upgrades for fire as well. He is fletching. Cloud will definitely click up faster here. And it's going to be all about early cast, so I want to see Cloud scouting. Um, You could tell he's not auto-scouted this scout, dude. Look... <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talk about a classic player. He's like, forget auto-scout. Well, I mean, at 2 HP, you don't really want to auto-scout it, do you? I think if, if there's nothing in the right of the fine. map, since auto-scout starts on the right of the map, just just auto-scout it. But he, he on has the way. controlled the scout nicely. He clicks up. He hasn't had to use the market. He's adding a stable. And market for fire right now. Also... The fact that Fire hasn't tried to full wall his base is pretty wild to me. I feel like you sh you have to wall up. You just have to if your opponent's walled. 
Yeah. Ooh, big moment though. The scouts. Oh, that's going to be huge value. Really nice stuff. I don't think Cloud will be too upset that his opponent's going to have skirms left over, but he would have wanted his own skirms to help against any Dude, spears. that's tragic. That's actually tragic. It that 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 is terrible. Like just having army numbers here is huge. So you can push that army away, right? Yep. You don't have to repair v walls behind. You can send villagers out forward if you want. Um supported by your army. Fire is just basically eliminated the possibility of a forward coming towards him yep. by clearing up that military and he is tracking everything that cloud is doing right now at home i like how cloud saved the sheep <laughs> it's the small details you know how long until he actually kills it though i i don't know he's moving it around an awful lot he's getting mm -hmm. it ready okay so now cloud's adding more skirms Ugh. Again, maybe trying to surprise fire, but I'm not sure I love the idea of adding more skirms here. He's going to add scout of his own, though. Dude, then I, add think a knight. He, I think he might have wanted to come forward. Yeah. And then he lost that army, and he can't anymore. Okay, fire saw something there. He saw the scout. He also saw castle age come in. The skirms have not been shown yet, and fire's now in. That's ugly. It's interesting. Shouldn't accomplish much, but this does give fire uh, intel, which is a pretty big deal. The skirms have moved out from Cloud. Cloud, bring the knight and chase down the skirms. You don't need the knight for the scouts, but I guess he doesn't want fire to kill villagers with them. And camels for fire, as expected. We do not have a second TC yet from either player. It could come at any point, and Cloud's not getting a lead skirm. So, yeah, the, the find from Fire with his additional scouts was huge. Still really unsure about a lead skirm here. Not sure I like the choice. I think Cloud's kind of unsure about what he should make yep. in this matchup. Yep. If he hasn't done damage early, like... At least he killed some of the skirms. From Fire, he sees the camels now. Does not cancel a lead skirm. He's going to keep that here. Mm -hmm. And the elite skirms are going to be... I mean, they're a little bit better against camels than they are against knights, but they're still not great. Yeah, and then you've got to use your knights here to help out, and this is just Byzantines having the options. Franks usually wanting to make knights, but still decent fights here. And Fire will lose these units. Fire is just going to boom at home, which is the safe play. I like the monastery from Fire to get relics because mm -hmm. yeah, it's all about late game decisions here, and I... It was bold, but I like the TC on the left as well, because he knew he has map control. That's a good hill to control and get vision on. God, these camels are still running around. Yeah. Just buying time. Oh, and no husbandry for Cloud. Yeah, Cloud clearly oh, doesn't boy. know what to do. Big wall? Here, here? Here, here? It, it's Cloud, dude. He's got it. He fights back. <laughs> Fire's going to stop, right? Stop? No, okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Too bad. Fire's like, what? Elite Skirm and Knights? What is this? Quick wall? Quick wow. wall? Quick wall? Quick wall? It, easy. <laughs> it, it, oh my god. It's like it's like watching Doubt. It, it's, yeah, it's the, he's the Taiwanese Doubt. People should love this guy. I don't know if there's as many memes about him in his community as there is about Doubt. But okay, conversion on the camel from Clouds. Nice. Some chip damage with the Skirms, even though they don't have Bod Canero yet. He's killed the camels in the back. He's got a nice army count. He goes to kill the monk with the skirms and lets all the camels in, which is not good at all. And fire is... He can't really go anywhere with the camels, though. Yeah, fire is going to maybe lose another camel. He can't really go anywhere with the camels. He's trying to get conversions himself. One camel was converted. The skirms are going to take out the monk. Okay. Value. And a new monk can pop out, and the new monk can get a conversion. So fire's got to back up here. Still, though... Fire's booming on three TCs versus two. Fire's had way less idle time, and it's cheap camels. But camels dominate skirms and knights, so I'm not sure where this is going to go for Cloud. That's why I mean, Fire's taking some, these fights. He, he's getting some decent engagements here. He really is. Yeah. Fire needs to make he's sure got... he doesn't toss away too much army. I think he could back mm -hmm. up, heal up, just prepare himself for the wave when it comes across the map here. God, the Byzantine monks, like, if you have them within range of a fight and yeah, they're healing units, they heal so it actually much. makes a massive difference. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, dude, we're going to a game five here, right? Like, I'm yeah. trying to be creative, but Cloud's got nothing. 
He's got no control. Fire's gonna drop the next TC. And what was what was the, the map for the fifth game if it happens? Oh, Nomad. <laughs> Nomad. I saw Cloudhead Kareem. There it is again. There it is again. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I, I blame the Frush. More stables from Fire as he's gonna add more camels here. Um, still kind of wondering Cloud's plan. He might be a bit rattled too, dude. Like, no Bodkin. That's something you should normally pick up on. University, and he's going to stone. So I think his plan is probably produce, try and take a, some big fights in the center, and then go forward with some castles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, I think, might even feel like this one's over at this point with how much he's killed and what he saw. He First will lose the villager on the, the left. Yeah, true. Big. And another sheep is there from Cloud. He did kill the other sheep, so that's something. I love what Fire's doing, though. Especially with Byzantines, building houses and buildings all over just gives you vision around the map. Makes sense to be doing this. He didn't get like relics. like the game plan. The game plan from Cloud is great. I mean, I'm going to make skirms against Byzantines. <laughs> Worse skirms against camels <laughs> as well. Yeah, but, but like, what do you make? There's no advantages, really, except the economy. Yeah. He really was hoping... Whoa, really fast conversions there on the camels. Yeah. I think you honestly just have to go knights. Yeah. And I just think you try go and hit your timings. Yeah, I think you go yeah. knight pike. He was hoping the two militia would have surprised uh, fire a little bit more. Oh, boy. Oh, that's conversions right there. Yeah. That's three conversions just straight up. And healing now in this fight as well. And now the eco difference is 20. And... We still see camels and knights switching sides for the time being, but fires four town centers. And if he wants to send a message here, he could go for a forward castle, but I don't think he, he realizes how big a message he could send right now. With the score, at least, you're 300 score behind. You might think, um, or ahead, sorry, if you're fire, you might think that maybe the eco's even right now. I think you have to know. No, he scouted. Like he saw base. this when this yeah he saw the second TC coming up when he had three, yeah and he's been on four so he for a knows bit, so yeah. yeah he knows that he's ahead and he hasn't had a significant amount of vital TC time either yeah terrible regroup there from Cloud he's gonna lose some more units he's got the monks here he needs to hope for some big big conversions I like the body blocks from the skirmishers on the monks to prevent the camels from killing them but the skirms aren't gonna really add much value behind this this whole army is gonna go down. And where is the hope for Cloud? The hope is game five, which he might not want to accept just yet. <laughs> uh, sometimes, and I don't know what it is, because I haven't quite figured it out, but sometimes when you're dead, you just need to let it sink in. You want to face the fact that this game is over in the game for as long as possible. The skirms is just not it. 101 villagers for fire. And Fire is about to click Imp here. He just had two Blacksmith upgrades on his uh, on his camels, and that's more than enough. I think he's going to go for the forward castle here. Yeah, um, also, someone people are just talking through options. Like, It's really tricky, because if you try and switch to Longswords, at this stage, Cataphracts can come out. Um, and and Longswords, it doesn't they're suit so the slow, Franks. Like, and they're slow. And yeah. Fire... Fire can just wall and make knives at his base, and, go yeah. up to Imp, and then wait for hand cannons to come out. It's like... Yeah, yeah Byzantines I I... truly just have no counters at this point. I think it might have just accidentally rewound. What, what time are you at? 34.10. Oh my god. I don't know how I did that. I didn't even press a hotkey. I just like <laughs> double click somewhere and it rewound. Well, if skirmishers were dying in the past for you, that's going to happen in the future as well. <laughs> I'm at 34.25 right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, 34.35. Okay, so I'm like five seconds good. ahead. Cloud's trying to go imp right now. Uh, he sees Fire's building a castle on the front, but Fire has already clicked up the imp. So I think, you know, if we don't see the GG before Fire is an imp, the GG will definitely happen once the Imperial Age is in and the first trebuchet pops. Dude, I'm so checked out of this game five minutes same, ago. It's not same. funny. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god. I, I'm just like staring at this with blank, it, blank face. It's a Hello, shame. chat. Thank it's you for a, being here. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. It, it's a shame. Um, 
that this game happened after the first three games were so insane, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, this is Byzantines on Arabia. There's nothing special about them, right? There's no excitement to it. It's just a <laughs> bunch of cheap Cloud units. Cloud Scout is in the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! -hoo! You see it? It's yep. been there for... It's been there for 25 minutes. Probably. Isn't it sick, though, how many things we can see that shows us he's been playing for 10 plus years? Yeah. Like the previous game and how he moved his units. Ooh, not using auto scout. The red nice. What happened? We're... Knights got deleted. Oh, shoot. Dang. Fire, should go... Fire should go Paladin. Or Cab Archers, apparently. No. <laughs> Paladin would be Paladin would be a play. Like Paladin would be like a dude. What are you doing? Yeah, in this yeah. Game still. Uh, I love Cloud's. Like I still got this. <laughs> I've got skirms with Franks. They don't get bracer, and they also don't get the final armor. I've got this. This is fine. I mean, fire is going into archers, so there is that. I like how Cloud still didn't get the relic in the back of his base. Yeah, I ain't got no time for relics. No time for that. Yeah, he got enough relics in the previous game. He's got to save. I mean, he's got to save his relic quota for the next game. Yeah, his monks are busy with other things. So one Byzantine castle on a hill, filled with units, uh, and then obviously some trebs versus two castles at the bottom of the hill for Franks. I prefer the one castle on top of the hill all day. Every day, Fire did make defensive castles elsewhere, so he could have doubled down on this hill, but decided against it. If TC incoming as well. Yeah. He's got vision all over the map. The right side's a little bit dark for him, but you might send Vils over there. And he's probably confused. He's like, I don't know what to make because I can't believe my opponent would actually go skirms right now. Skirm should die to the Arbalest, for those Lee wondering. Paladin. <laughs> yeah, Elite Cataphracts. But nah, just Arbalest, Balmar Cannon, Camels. Another castle for Cloud in this position. Both of his golds are here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> and Fire can see that castle. With the sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Although he probably could see it anyway. Oh, yeah, it's true. Teams. I was you hoping. You see everything. Yeah. All right, here we go. A fire drafted against, at least based on what you said, and, and we think Incas or Franks. He didn't know what Civ Cloud would go for, but he assumed it would be one of those two. And Byzantines have great options against both. And Cloud tried to be creative here. He tried to switch it up and play into skirmishers and militia, but he played away from his strengths in order to try and counter the opponent. But Byzantines could have countered anything he made. And the castle's going to fall. Cloud's going to take a fight with the skirms. The camels pop out. And Dave and I are definitely not waiting for the GG. There it is. As a shock to everyone, we are going to see the fifth game. But it's another back and forth series. It will be mm -hmm. the final game in a decider that sends one of these two to gold. And this is pretty sick, dude. I would have predicted Fire would have won this one 3-0 or 3-1 if I, if I would have predicted something. So I'm pumped that we're getting a fifth game. Here we are in the fifth game. Let's see these TC spots. Players want their town centers as quickly as possible. There's fire. On the stone. And oh. And there's... Oh, God. <laughs> I guess Cloud is go Cloud's going out to dock to the side, so he's going to have a good spot to dock in the far corner. Yeah. And he's not going to run up against the landlocked side. Neither player is. And fire is going for that TC. Two villagers really close by, so that's going to be a fast TC. And he's going up to the top to dock, so... Nice location for Fire Cloud. Oh, man. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I see the gold there. I see a stone kind of nearby. But when I'm looking at boar locations, there's one. Yeah. The others are really hard to find. Boars man. are rough. The others are yeah. really hard to find. Yeah, this, this is Nomad, right? You pick Nomad, usually as the underdog, because you want that RNG aspect, that randomness aspect to help you. The gold position's fine, the stone position, the wood, all that's good. This is all, of course, before oh. we even talk about the civilizations, but he, he definitely he needs so to locate goats, a second boar somewhere. Cloud has so many goats, and he's searching around. He can see the one near his base, and I think he's going to find extra boars because he has all of these all goats. He's going to yeah. find the one way far to the left, which he can take in easily with the house trick. 
He's going to find the one probably to the south here with a goat. Maybe even, so maybe even actually, to the east as well. Right? Yeah, like good scouting is really going to pay off here for Cloud. And we look at Fire. Fire's got one goat and he's using it to find his extra res. Cloud is already at the point where he can start looking over shorelines. He's identified which side of the map is landlocked, which is really important to know. Dude, he's he's making use of these goats so nicely he's here. He's gaming He right is now. gaming he's... big time. Nomad stuff. Yep. And and so let's talk about civs. Persians start with the plus 50 food and plus 50 wood. So that allows you to get the, the first fishing ship out a little bit easier. Uh, and it, it allows you to, to get an additional villager out. Mm -hmm. That extra flexibility is huge on Nomad. I know a lot of people don't play it. It's a lot harder than it looks. It's a completely different game in terms of the timings of when you take one v one is a is wildly different from team game Nomad as well. That's true. Like the yeah. priorities are way way different. And fire went Bengalis, a sieve that I'm surprised was his number one pick, but I don't think it's bad on Nomad because typically in one v one Nomad you have uh, a couple strategies, but normally it's all water. So fast fetal into water or cast age water. Mm. And galley ships regenerate. So they'll win the 1v1 water battles. And then also you see a lot of uh, like knight pushes. And Bengalis have really good monks. Not to mention Bengalis get extra villagers from their town center upon arriving to the next stage. So on paper, I think that's good. I think the problem for Bengalis is they don't have knights themselves. So they can't really like go for strong pushes, and it's really hard to push the Persians because the Persian TCs and docks are so strong. Dude, this is so intimidating if you're Cloud. Like you're looking at three different boar locations. Number one, you have to scroll your entire map to find them, and they're all like the same distance away. Yeah, it's like which one <laughs> do you go like, for? I can pull those in, but I'm gonna have to go so early for them. Mm -hmm. And Fire? it's gonna be so difficult. Fire doesn't see a second boar. Dave. He's pushing in the deer with the vill, which is creative. Um, but the the boar that we thought he would find to the north of his TC, he has not scouted. And to the west as well, he's still struggling to find that one. So he does have a couple goats he can take. Oh god, this I mean, and and no pro player wants to get loom here because they're like, nope, if I get loom, then loom that's is, me not loom creating is not a villager. The worst thing in the world, though, it's not the worst thing in the world. I agree. No man. Let's like see. nomad, the the difference between nomad and, and a map like Arabia is sometimes you just have to ignore the efficiency element of it mm -hmm. and just do your thing, yeah. right? Well, he's trying to to do his thing here with the goat. There he goes. I wonder if he's gonna collect this other goat on the way to save this vill, or is he gonna house trick? Oh god. Oh god. Come on, house trick it, Cloud. Dude, he's he's he's. <laughs> Stop. gonna do it all right he used the berry strategically it's a, he, a house he trick berry bumpage there's the house trick easy hits it again downhill hit could easy. be bad no he's fine okay. he's so fine he's unbelievably fine you could just target this with the villagers doesn't even yeah. have to shoot with the tc yeah yeah easy yeah meanwhile fire didn't find another boar until now and he's on the way and he's doing a little palisade maneuver and he does it again, which is creative, Ooh. but still no boar underneath his TC. And Cloud could click up, and Cloud has not located deer. the dock from fire yet. No, but he does see he does see a house over on the left side. Yep. So he's gonna scout it with the fishing ship to make mm. sure there's no dock there. Yep. And that'll tell him the TC is somewhere nearby, and he sees the dead deer north of him. Yeah. This what fire do you think? If he knows the TC is there, TC drop, <laughs> what TC drop? Yeah, because there's the outpost. Yeah, right yeah, there. no, dude, I, I was my first Feudal thought was first, like, and then douche. Yeah, no, I, I think TC drops actually really good, but I don't think you have to because you have so many other advantages, right? And your your cloud, like he loves this map. He's so good on it. I don't think you want to necessarily attempt something so crazy here. Again, a classic move. Nobody, nobody that. scouts with fishing ships these days. Usually players are like, nope, I need all my eco working. If I don't find their dock, I just assume where it is. But he confirms it here. Oh, he sees it, dude. He's got, he sees it. He's got a lot on wood. But he's going for the barracks. And he must be thinking about scouts and navy. That's my guess, anyways. He found, he found the dock, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good stuff from Cloud. Just experience. And Fire is not even up, man. Fire is not even up, and Cloud's going to be up in 25 seconds. 
This would oh, be huge. This, this would is be... gonna be really bad for fire. I mean, and I don't think it's a fast castle for fire either. I just think he wasn't able to have his fluid a dark age here. Yeah. He should absolutely lose his fish. We'll see if it's galleys or fires from cloud. He's gonna go galleys or fire galleys, I is guess. Is he gonna go for a tower as well on that stone? He is. Interesting. And there could be a start of more towers, but he's not mining any stone yet. You now, fire can't counter tower this because he's not feudal age. Yeah. That's going to be such a good little spot to have vision over, too, for Cloud. So beautiful. Yeah. And you know what? Look at that. Once he gets the tower up, also a spot for the TC to the <laughs> left. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude. Also, also, he got Town Watch. No one yeah. gets Town Watch at this stage, but he's like, I want no, vision. This is a nomad you, thing. If you watch the nomad guys that are really good at nomad 1v1, almost everyone's getting Town Watch like earlier feudal age. Yeah. It's so important. Stable still not up for him because he's spending all of his wood on the ships. And he's making his way over to Fire's dock. Fire does have a second dock. Fire will actually be able to pull off a fast castle off this. It, he might need to use the market, though. He is going to have to use the market for sure. Yeah. And he's going to have to sell his stone, which is going to be really ugly. Yep. Yeah. Cloud's going to spend all of his stone here. Pressure's got to be high for both players right now. And fire, Cloud he's going to defend on water. Gold. He's going to make ships, so he can't go blacksmith market. His castle time will be delayed here. Bengalis wow. will have the healing fires, so in a 1v1, they're going to win, but I don't see how he catches up on numbers right away to yeah. Cloud with the eco <laughs> that he has. Look and he's trying Cloud. to do other things. Now Cloud is attacking one tower over there. <laughs> that is a horrendously placed tower from fire, but it's kind of necessary, right? Yeah. To defend that whole area. I mean, Cloud can't really do anything about that gold then. And he's going to try and outpost the left side as well now, where he will run into a fire market. So they're close, <laughs> he has dude. full vision they're over close. everything he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's going to add scouts. Honestly, I think he might rush that tower down. But if fire sees that, he should be able to wall up. Yep. I, fire I would... is ahead on Vils right now. Or ahead on Eco yeah, and yeah, yeah. Vils. General. This is so wild. Look at the vision from Cloud. He sees the market. He sees the berries. He sees the gold. He knows where the fish are. He hasn't killed the fish. Fire's kept the fish alive, but the fish are not working. Mm -hmm. So that's certainly not going to be good. Cloud's going to rush that freaking tower. I think he's just waiting with scout numbers so he could rush it. Yep. Get three scouts. Go in with the Vils. Kill the tower. Cut him off of gold. You know he's not up yet because you but just saw it, the market going up. I don't like this strap because fire just needs a couple quick walls here. Yeah, just like one house and a palisade and he's fine. There's the house and this is just, it's so risky, but Cloud's still going to go for it anyways. Unless he kills the house and gets in. Or no, just runs doesn't. past the house with everything. The mad lad, game five, <laughs> and he just runs right past it. He used to screw your tower. I'm going to go check out what's out here, and now Fire's dropping a oh, tower on the hunters. berries. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, he's not killing anything, so credit to Fire uh, being back here. Cloud, he probably needs a market of his own, yeah. honestly, and he'll probably build a forward market with those four bills. But uh, Fire is going for more towers here on the side, and Fire is just buying his stone, right? Or did he have stone from the... Stone um, next to his TC. He's is still able to take tower? some of the stone. Know. Yeah, yeah, he's still able to take some of the stone. So Cloud right now, he might make some mistakes because I think he's worried that fire's up to Castle Age because he's just not seeing anything on land. He made five more fires, Cloud. Yeah, Th I he's winning I the fight. I think, that's just, I think that's just too much, though. You have five fires in the queue. Dude, he's, market, he's, all about, dude. he's all about commitment, dude. <laughs> he's all about commitment. <laughs> He's going for everything he can, but he didn't find That's the fish from crazy. fire on the right. Yeah, he like he killed one fishing ship, and he's still working away on these docks. Like fire could get out of this. Yeah, and he never cloud never went to stone. He's doing it now, but he didn't have enough for a tower, so he can't deny this wood line. Just buy a tower. Agreed. Really missing a market right now, but he didn't have the mill, Dave. So he's now milling oh, he the deer. He didn't have the mill. Okay, that yep. makes sense. Yep. <laughs> Didn't have the mill. The fact that the fact that fire is fishing on the right though is pretty big for him, and he's gonna use his market. He's Still close to clicking up. up. Come on, 
let's go market here, Cloud. You've got the mill now. You got to click up to the next stage. No, he's got, he's got to kill that mill first from fire. Yeah, there you go. Fire's still trying to go up. He's Dude, still struggling. There's so much potential for Cloud, but the clock is ticking. There's the market forward market. That's the energy we wanted, and Fire's just gonna try and use the gold and those. They douche him now. Six fishing ships. Honestly, yes. Honestly, yes. Yeah. TC drop him yeah. now, and it, it honestly could make a lot of sense. He's going for the tower at the back after the bargain yeah. is complete. Gonna cut off the wood line. Uh, you could buy some food, and it's gonna look a whole lot more competitive once Cloud buys the food. And he does, and now look at the resources. Fire still has not clicked up. He's only got seven on food right now. His docks are going down. He's trying to protect his fishing ships over to the side. He finally clicks up to Castle Age, but Cloud is going to have a tower on his wood line, and Fire is forced to come forward with these villagers to try and build a tower to um, protect that stone. Yeah, I mean, th this is Cloud didn't fully wall it in, so this is a nice play from Fire. Cloud's just going to make another Bring tower. The scouts, bro. The scouts are on the way. Bills oh are on the way. God. Oh, 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 oh. I think Fires can get away with this day. Fires is on the way up. The tower is extremely awkward, but the eco is not exactly working right he now didn't get the for walls Cloud. Down. He didn't get the walls down on time. There's a tower behind. <gasps> Scouts are here. These villagers are trying to repair the tower. Cloud might keep this tower alive, Tristan. Cloud may keep this tower alive, and the Scouts are killing villagers. What is this? this what is, is happening? <laughs> what is happening? This is insane. Oh, my God. Disaster from fire. Cloud clearing everything. Whoa, dude. Now, fire, I think in the same moment, did kill all the fire ships next to his dock, which is now on fire. So that's good. And he could maybe eventually get over to... Fire, what are you doing? Fire, don't lose he, more bills. Fire. Oh, he saved them? He sa he's not going to save these ones. No, no way. Oh my goodness. Okay, so and nine Castle to one Lich eco is KD. On the way for Cloud. Make that ten to one eco KD. Fire needs to YOLO by a castle, right? Is that not yep, what the yep. situation calls for? I, I think so, and then you protect yourself. You're gonna get two additional vills from getting to Castle Age as Bengalis, which is great. But you just need to hold that shift button and hit that buy yeah, stone. Buy it all. Ozone, don't look. This is what you could have <laughs> you could have tried. He to bought wood. Yesterday. He bought wood. He uh, he's getting war galley and he's going for a monastery, he's which is monks, yeah. always tempting with the Bengalis. And it's another tower here from Cloud. Okay. Look at Cloud's Both vision players again. have zero on wood, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> just, just casually. <laughs> and dude, Cloud's going to try and repair this tower again. Yeah. It went. Oh, he no, repaired he, the palisade. He's going to the palisade. <laughs> he repaired the palisade. No. Oh, that's, it's not worth it. That's unfortunate. A poor goat that's in the middle of all this is probably so confused. Oh my god, dude. I haven't had this much fun with the set in so long. Yeah. Holy. And and it's like, this guy's gone through everybody to get here. He's up against fire, and <laughs> fire's still building up for a castle. What do you do if the castle goes up if you're cloud? I think I might prefer. I think I prefer Fire's position the second he drops this castle. Mm. Oh, oh, wait, 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 Scouts wait, wait. Scouts are wait, coming wait, in, wait, wait. and the tower these, ranges that. These towers have fletching now. These towers have fletching, and he's about to get Bodkin. Uh, too. I think Bodkin. Bodkin is a must here. Uh, we need Bodkin. We need fire, Bodkin. not that position, dude. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, the castle's been deleted. He doesn't have the stone for it now. Panic times for Fire. He's buying it again. He's putting it a little bit closer. If I know Cloud, he will YOLO buy stone right now and drop a castle somewhere. I just don't know where. No, you drop a TC on the gold from fire. <laughs> There's a tower there, dude. <laughs> Calm down, okay? You drop a TC, yeah. <laughs> Calm down. The tower. It's Persians. You, you're not going to lose it anytime soon. So Send the... 10 vils. So fire is starting to kill fishing ships from Cloud, Dave. A big deal there. And he still is, you know, the potential to make some Ratha, which could be decent enough. It's like cab now. Towers to hide in, but there's not enough towers for these vills, and Cloud's gonna find more kills. And Cloud's completely forgotten about his water, though. Fire did not, so Fire's made progress. Cloud needs a second TC for sure. I think you also start expanding guard tower would be really nice. Mm, um, or yeah, a siege push, I mean, a, a siege push with towers on the right. He's going for monks of his own. He can heal up his scouts, which would be good. Second TC is really nice though if you're if you're cloud here. Yeah. Fire can hold. I think he should absolutely be making Ratha and, and using them in melee mode right now. I mm -hmm. think it's a good enough unit. He's making the first one, but 
He's going to need more. But if fire can hold and drop another castle and drop that one offensive, I think it could look really good for him. I don't know, man, because you can't drop it in between those two castles there. Like, maybe if you get... Or in between the two towers. Sorry. If, if you get Bodkin, maybe you can range the one, but... I think you would drop it on the left On of, the hill? On the left of your oh. castle where the outpost is from Cloud. Oh, right there. Okay. Get access to some gold. Deny the wood line. Like, look yeah, at the rest TC selected, dude. Cloud. This is so close. It's a 300 difference. Way more Yeah, you have to keep Cloud. in mind, though, that... Uh, all of that gold from fire was basically selling everything at the market. He's yeah. been selling like a maniac. Yeah, both players, if you just page up, it's just market, market, market. Second TC there for Cloud. So he'll start to think about farming and adding more and more economy. And he, honestly, he knows exactly where fire is and what fire is doing all the time. So it might look weird that he's just sitting here and it might look unnatural, but it's not because the second fire does anything, he will see it. Sees everything. Do you think I think if you're if you're cloud, I would like to see a dock on the right. And yeah, yeah. maybe the war galley research eventually, just to make sure that fire is not fishing like a crazy yeah, man I over agree. here. Okay, fire. But the light cav are gonna come in first. The monks are kinda out of position to the left, and I think fire might be thinking about a castle over there. That's why he's got him there. And fire is wisely stonewalled. Yeah, that's here. really so that's good. That's really, really nice. That is really good. And Cloud see, I think Cloud's just waiting. He's like, when is this guy going to build the castle? Because I see his monks and I see all those villagers on stone there. And Cloud's lost some of his villagers on the gold to the north of Fire's TC. Yeah. And that's melee mode on the Rathas for you. So it's basically like a, a knight, but you only spend wood and you only spend gold on it. Does Cloud castle the castle here and then try and ram it down? What, what, where's he going to place this thing? Hmm. He's uh, going to put it in the center. He should probably put <laughs> it on the right side near the gold, though. Uh, this is an interesting I, the moment. The monks are going to come out and deny this with the Ratha here, unless the Ratha get converted. Okay, yeah. now he has to back up, I think. there's Yeah, there's monks from Cloud there. I don't know how Lycav do against Ratha, but I think again, Ratha on melee mode should be a Lycav. Yep. Uh, and then you combine it with the monks. Fire, just loop yourself around here, dude. That is your invitation to castle this left-hand side. He's what a gonna game. do it. What no, he's a game. coming out for a lumber camp. Is he coming for a castle, though, too? He's scared. He doesn't know. Like, how many times has he taken this fight, you think? Probably never. Oh! Ooh, monks need to get conversions here for Cloud. But Ratha have a archer mode as well. And those are Bengali monks, so they've got a lot of armor. Still, the light cap are killing all of them. But the Wrath of win now. And I think Fire can drop the castle here. And Fire will have the lead if he gets the castle offensively. There's no way to count this, uh, counter this with just Light Cav if you're Cloud. Who's got very little vision on the right-hand side of his base. Things could fall apart. That's the perfect castle from Fire. How do you stop this, Cloud? You got to make knights or camels, I think, in combination think, with your Light Cav. I think the towers aren't bad behind this. Your TC is going to survive for a while because it's a Persian TC. Yeah, yeah. So, and you have a second one already, right? So just keep moving your eco to the south. Get some towers Relocate. up or some walls or something. Don't lose villagers yep. trying to commit here. If but he had, I, I mean, if, oh, the wrath are so tough to deal with right now, If right? he had a little bit more vision on that right-hand side, it's completely in the dark for him because he's been so focused on fire's base. Maybe then. But, like, I, I think it's fair to say you have to stop making light cap now, right? Or at least only use the light cap against monks. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. He has, a, he, like, he has five on food, so I yeah. think that's a fair point. I mean, monks work also, too. Also, nothing being done about the fishing ships on the water. Luckily for Cloud, Fire has not really expanded its fishing economy at all. Yep. But... A lot of weak wrath is oh, here Oh, he kills, he kills the converted light cap too, which is a hu it was a huge pain yep. in the butt for Cloud. So good job there killing that. There's still a lot of idle time in that starting TC for Cloud. He's got all of his villagers in there. He's so fixated on this fight. He's got tons on stone himself here to the south. One on wood only. Yeah, I mean, Fire's economy isn't great, but the fact he's got some fish has kept him producing villagers more consistently mm -hmm. than Cloud has, even though Cloud has more fills. And that's a lot of Ratha. It is. And he's got Bengali monks behind. 
Very difficult to take out, especially in numbers. As the Wrath to come in, does he get the conversion? He does not somehow. Nope. Doesn't and gets one kill, and then here comes fire. Okay, we are going to see a castle from both pretty soon. Fire's going to try and drop it on the hill. Cloud's going to try and drop it on the hill. It's happening. We're moments away. Let's see. Oh my god. And Cloud can see all this coming forward. He's got Town Watch. You got to go for it, Cloud. He sees the villagers drop coming forward. Stone. He sees the villagers three more coming stone. forward. Wrath is switching sides. Drop the castle. Drop There's it. The castle right there. And build with everything. Yep, Camels everything. Fighting downhill against the Ratha, so they should be good as long as this castle goes up. You're fine. You just need this castle to go up. You need oh. more monks going forward. Fire is going for that castle. He's getting super aggressive, but now Ratha are getting converted. Camels are in the way. So many villagers for Cloud. I think Fire needs to abandon. Fire needs to abandon his castle for sure, dude. And he's got to get yep. his monks out of here. He's he got to get everything out of here. If he doesn't get everything out of here, he'll lose. He will lose this Insane. game. He lost everything. Dave. Cloud holding on to the hill. Cloud at 71 villagers, fire only at 40. <laughs> Dave, in the exact oh moment, my God. in the exact moment that fire's castle was deleted, my power flicked off because of a lightning strike outside my house. <laughs> I'm so shook right now. I assume you can still hear me. And yeah. my backup batteries worked, but oh my God. <laughs> oh, God <laughs> is speaking the moment, to us dude. right now. Oh, yep. Crazy Dude. game, and now fire, fire is like, oh god, he's got two castles. Yep, I can't breach that side. I have to, to go now from the right, probably, and he's gonna expand that way. But that's the way the cloud's gonna be looking. And remember, like cloud still has a couple villagers behind fire if he wants to cause some problems. True, too. true. Yeah, maybe even just like drop a tower there just in case something happens. I think Fire possibly shifting his attention towards just taking out the middle castle from Cloud. Cloud's repairing his castle. But Cloud right now, with all the vision he has, he has an opportunity to kill the Vils from Fire on the left. He sees all that, but he's so distracted right now. I mean, who can blame him? What a ridiculous game. I really thought once Fire's castle went up, that Cloud was completely screwed. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing hold. He's at good economy. It's getting better. It's getting, you know, and it's only going to continue. He... He might have just noticed that gold at the back there, too, for himself. Yeah, I think true. he saw it before, but it's hard to notice it. He's going to get that TC up, and that's gold access for him. Dude. Fire's now selling stone. He's buying food, and he's going for an elephant push. But look at what this, Cloud's but doing. Mangonels are coming out. Yeah, yeah, he senses it. He sees it. Yeah, the vision. He still yep. sees it. Fire's like, how does this sees guy know flag. everything I'm doing? And the light cavalry are on the left. I think Cloud's about to win this series. That's a lot yeah, of dead vills there for Nomad, fire pretty soon. Nomad 1v1, dude. Vision trumps everything. Vision is crazy. If you know what your opponent's going to go. Yeah, and the Wrath is... Were, were, they were solid, but they weren't able to finish the game. And now Cloud can use some patience because he has control over this game and he can use his mobility. But wait. Elephants are here. Armored elephants coming forward. And fire is going to run into a mangonel, and that's just going to be the worst feeling in the oh, world for fire. Oh, God. Yeah. That is really rough. And he backs away. And that's food that he had to spend on that. It's not like he's just mm. spending wood and he gold. He sold stone to buy food for that, yep. I think. Fire. But he does have a TC on the right side. Yeah. So he's kind of like out there taking control. And he does have the fishing ships. He's got 10 now. Yep. Cloud really but needs to, to try and though. get some vision on that right-hand side. <clears throat> but his tunnel vision is also more than fine with this economy lead. Mm -hmm. Do you? What's the price on wood here? Well, thank you, Fire, for telling us. That. Oh my God! Everyone <laughs> just using the market at one. What is this? A battle for the market? We're oh buying God. wood. We're selling wood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I think you need to like try and maybe get up if you can't do any damage well, in the look near at future. But the light caver coming in and it's plus two armor coming into Fire has to quick wall that. But there's no way to clear these up. Yeah, yeah, you got to send units over there, and if you do that, then the light cav on the left. Are gonna be there and i think for cloud your economy's so good you just keep making army all the time you never stop the fights don't have to be oh, pretty that house might die just oh. just keep piling on pressure fire's gonna try imp where and he could make trebs but i don't know if he's gonna have enough to support the trebs it feels like if cloud just keeps producing with this economy he could have like 30 light cav and 30 light cav should be the amount of rathas that are out there yeah, and they can dive in for the Trebs too, and the food eco is getting set up. Like, look at the food eco comparison. 
10 yep. on food for fire. That's his fishing ships. Yep. 36 on food for cloud. I'm pretty sure all of those are farmers. Wow. Just incredible stuff. Now, fire's going to... He did spot the tower coming up. So he'll temp he'll slow this down. He won't fully deny it, but that's good heads up play from him. And Cloud's also going to think about the Imperial Age now. So both players are imping. Fire's going to... Nice house wall oh, there. So now wall. he can save those vills. Sick. That was really well played, as well as garrison his own tower. Okay, so if you're fire, you got to find yourself a gold. Maybe, and he's on that gold. He's on the gold on the right. He's got, he's got it well saturated. And the left. Three mining camps. <laughs> so you go Trevs, you go Monks with yes. the Monk techs, and some Wrath is in front to protect, and you just try and clown your way out of this one. But Cloud is on the way to Imperial Age, not too far behind fire. Cloud needs, he needs more like have than 14. And there's a temptation here to maybe make Knights. You should not do that if there's monks out there. You just continue with yeah. light cab and numbers is, is your, how you win this game. Your gold is for chemistry and for your trips. Yeah. yeah. Also, outpost, dude, oh, wow. on the right side. You take fire off that gold. It helps a lot. I know it's only five bills, but that has potential for fire. Yep. And what a crazy game. I'm nervous right now. I'm really nervous. This is a big deal for both of them. And I did not think that, like, I know Cloud's a creative player, and I knew he was well-prepared. I did not think he could bring a level that could beat a player like Fire today. It felt so inevitable every series we saw from Fire in Titan Six Silver. I like Pikeman from Fire, but I just don't think he's going to be able to I afford don't think much. He's got 11 on food. Yeah. He can't. I mean, I guess he has 25 on gold, so, like, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the food price right now? Uh, uh, no, that's wood fire. Buy, buy food. 114. 207 gold for 100 food oh. right now. Yeah, selling for 114. 213 gold by, oh my god. Block printing is a good tech here. The cloud's trying to make Double traps. Trip. He's actually housed uh, in one of them, which is an issue. Too much eco. And he needs, I guess he's going to go Hussar upgrade instead of the armor. Yeah, that's good. He, he, show, he could 40, easily afford 49 armor 49 well. farmers. 50 farmers now. The number just keeps going up. And that's just, you know, right click into the trebs once you see them. Yep. If you have all Actually, the Actually, you can, and you can give up the forward castle. In. Give up the mm -hmm. forward castle. You don't need to rush it. The longer you wait, the better it is for you because of your economy. You just focus on taking fire's castles out. That fire's castle eco on the upgrades are time. Uh, impressive. Yeah. I mean, you Double know, the. In his defense, he had to play this way, and there's no sense in trying to catch up economically past a certain point. He's been completely surrounded for a long time. That castle he dropped on Cloud's starting TC gave him a chance. But now I just I just don't know if he can do this. Like that army is definitely gonna die to, to 40 Hussars, right? It has yeah. to. I mean, full armor upgrades, iron casting is in too. He's got plenty of stables to produce from behind. Unfortunately, Conscription didn't come in in that castle. Yeah. It got taken out, but still, he's, he's researching it here, and the cat forward castle from Fire is now going down. And uh, I feel like Cloud is just going to one-fight mm -hmm. his way to victory here. And Fire's... This is such a bad position to be in because you just know that something's coming, but you don't know what. And you're like, oh, two camels. That's not bad. And then you see yeah, and then this. a <laughs> massive ball of hussars coming through. You're like, surely he has no upgrades on these. Yeah. Oh, he does. And so Cloud says, all right, buddy, I'm going for your castle next. Come fight me. And even if you could afford the halb upgrade, I don't think your economy is good enough to make enough halbs to counter this. You don't even hussars. have enough halbs now. Yeah. yeah. You're never, He's never be able to get the numbers. Five hussar with his monks. Yeah. And swing the tide. And a Maganel. Yeah, Cloud's going to take this fight. And Cloud is going to pull off what is another big surprise in Titans League. And he could argue it's the biggest fire. He was in gold. He played all the maps. He knows the settings. He's been around. But he wasn't able to beat this creative player from Taiwan. He's been around a long time. And that's it for fire here, dude. He's going to lose everything. What a performance from Cloud today. Yep. Even got Commander in. Let's go. <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> he was thinking towards the future. He's adding ranges, and Fire really doesn't want to give this up. He normally probably would have GG'd during that fight. Yep. But he's looking for any possible way he can carry this through. And once the Trebs are down, 
It's just over, and Cloud goes through with a crazy game. Wow. Absolutely wild game there. Every win that he had today was just freaking ridiculous, yeah. right? Like game one, the poll strategy, uh, and how yeah. he how he controlled the game. Obviously, he was very close in game two, and he ended up losing that one. But then the tower rush and the archer strategy uh, on the fortified clearing, and then this. Like, talk about preparation. Talk about being unique. Cloud deserves everything, and he's going to move on to gold. As always, with anyone who moves on to gold from these silver brackets, going to be incredibly tough, tough to stay up. <laughs> um, I, and I hope that creativity serves him well in gold against mm -hmm. the, the better players. But still, this is a big achievement for the guy. So regardless of what happens in gold, this is huge. Really fun games today. Say my name uh, set, and then, of course, the cloud set here. Just really, really cool. I loved it. Loved it. And you you want to see preparation and creativity pay, and it absolutely did for Cloud, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Also, I know you referenced uh, the age of Tamate, who I think was like 34 or something. 34. Ancient. I, absolutely I, ancient. I, I would have to look it up. I think Cloud's closing on 40, dude. I think he is. So Cloud's up there. He said 34 is absolutely ancient, so I don't know what that makes Cloud, but <laughs> he can still get the job done. <laughs> uh, great series. Mm.